week, David loses a child. Chloe lifts a horse and jam. Yeah, yeah, jam, jam. Yeah, jam. Yeah, jam. That'll be explained later, trust me. So let's drop down. Let's drop in. And let's do this. This is just another trucking podcast. Hello, Allegedly. this is Just No Trucking Podcast. I am your host, Tom, and I'm joined, as always, by my good friend, co-host. Hello, Chloe. How are you doing? We're, wow, we're, right. we're just going straight in there, aren't we're we? We're going straight into it. What's, what's <laughs> going on with your lighting? It looks like something out of the fucking shining. I don't know. For some reason, I'm really dark. There you go. Fair enough. I wasn't ready. Um, you just jumped in with it. Like well, one yeah, minute ago, we're talking like what we're going to do, and then you just went right. We're on it. Well, yeah, that's that's how the podcast works. We we you know we we introduce you know it's that's okay. That's like a. I mean, ready. just to point out, we have done a hundred and sixty episodes. Bearing in mind, I know you've right? been a part of a lot of them. I know. Like, I can't a believe staggering it. Staggering amount. This isn't going to go good for you, Chloe. What? You, oh, time. why is he going to turn it around? No. That, that was oh, it. I just figured you were going to say, as like, you have been here for most of them and you still can't get your shit together. Yeah. This is what I was like. I, 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 I don't think I, I, I can't really say fuck all at this point. I, let, let's be honest. Uh, I've done the majority of them 160 episodes and I definitely can't get my shit together. That is that's something we that have is a Tom very thing. much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We also have David. Hello, David. Hey, how are you doing today, Tom? Oh, is this the energy that he's bringing? I like it. Okay. Yeah. I like no, it. and Chloe, just thank you very much for showing up all the time. I really appreciate oh, everything thanks, that you David. do for the podcast. I know. We're really good, you know, we? I It is just a pleasure to be on this show. It is. But anyway, Tom, I, I, do we I have anybody else a... we need to introduce? No, not really. No. No? Okay, no. cool. All yeah. right. All right, moving on. Yep. Uh, <laughs> moving on. No, we, we, do, we do have a guest. Um, we have a uh, guest do this without Prince. Do this without rolling your eyes. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have we have Prince on the the podcast. Hello, Prince. Purple rain. <laughs> that's how for that's those how we talk to everybody. Listening, there is there's a there's a great visual gag here. You'll have to go to the YouTube to work it out. It's Jammer, by the way. For those no, who don't get it you, out. you spoiled oh, this. You ruined it. Oh, would have believed it. You did the one well. thing you asked us not to do. Absolutely, oh. no one would have believed that we don't have Prince. Of course, they would have. On 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 the trucking podcast. Yeah. Hashtag, he's still alive. hashtag he's no alive. longer strawberry blonde. It's his ghost blonde. if he's not. No, hashtag no longer strawberry blonde. Tom is ginger. Put it across, please. please <laughs> yeah. Not. Is Prince alive still or not? Do we know? No, he this? died. I mean, he, di- he died. Okay, yeah. well, so we've got his ghost here. Okay. Well, the ghost of Prince, apparently. <laughs> but you know, so he's making it even less likely. But, but do you know who is dead? Likely. Do you know who is dead? Fucking OJ Simpson's dead. Yes. Right? Yesterday. That is right. Crazy. Who? I'd never really oh. got the whole. Like, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Who? Who? Right. So, you... OJ Simpson. He's a linebacker. Oh. Was something to do with uh, baseball, I'm going to say. Yeah, it's football. Okay. I think so. he was a linebacker okay. uh, for some team. American Broncos, football, maybe. yeah. Yeah, American yeah. football. Is he a big He famous also uh, was a very famous uh, actor on um, Mission, not Mission Impossible, Naked Guns. He was in a lot of Naked Gun episodes. Was he really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. And uh, there was some controversy. I don't know, like uh, that he killed somebody. His wife. He killed his wife, mate. He stabbed her to death. Was it his wife? I'm pretty sure it's his wife. I thought it was a girlfriend. Is it not his wife? So why are you devastated that he's dead? Well, I don't really know. It's it's like a he... whole big thing. Basically, there was a court case, yeah. and there was like this really like famous like lawyer. Come on, you know and who he, he is. Like, What's huh? his name? Who's the lawyer? I don't know. If it, it was the one on, that went. If, if they... Dad Sharpton? Daredevil. Oh, he's he a was, lawyer. wasn't he? Like, yeah. Who's the Kardashians? Are part of all of this shit. It's oh, crazy, that's honestly. right. That's right. That's right. What? They are. I'm bringing all the facts. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really. So, it's Chloe, it's I said Daredevil. I, I thought that was less right, likely. Chloe, but... let me just give you a, a, a butchering of what, who, who who he is and what happened. Excellent. Right. So there I was a huge, huge one of the biggest court cases out there, and it became a bigger than Johnny Depp. Oh yeah. Yeah, it, as it, was like, the, it was the Johnny Depp. It was the first viral time. moment, yeah. right. basically. It was like, uh, this is pre-internet, and mm-hmm. he had 
he was basically in a, in a in a Ford Bronco and he was running for the cop from the cops at like thirty miles an hour through the LA f- the freeways. And, oh right, uh, there was a police chase as well. Wasn't yeah, there was there? a police chase, and they actually cut. I think I, there was some really famous thing going on at the exact same time that was being televised. But they know they actually cut over to uh, O.J. Simpson running from the cops in in L.A. And wow. but the court case was real. It became racial because uh, if he became if he was if you because a lot of people. I don't know. Um, we, we at least we have a, a, a our local black guy on the, on the show this time, so we can actually have a, a word from him about <laughs> don't, it. Don't know if we can say that, David. Don't know if we can say. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I'd say black basically. guy. Basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but basically, it did, be, it it did become gone. racial. If it if he got, if he got found, if what? I'm only one quarter. Yeah, he's black, Irish, so isn't he? You can't really do yeah, yeah, the full yeah. black thing there, David. So yeah, he's he's actually part Irish. Yeah, but it's you true, can, yeah. If you can say the n word, you're I can't. You pretty you're black. No, it's derogative. Terminology that uh, white people yeah. used to call. David's in the hole now. <laughs> Dig yourself out of some prick. And so basically, he 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 basically did it, and I think everyone knew he did it, but right. he got that yeah. off because he had this really really good lawyer, and then he wrote a book saying if I called if I did it or I did it, it was wasn't it the book? Oh yeah, wow. yeah well, basically fucking... where he just explained what he did, and he explained in detail of of how he definitely killed his wife but only kind of and then there was a, a civil case where he was definitely it's it's wild it's wild basically this lawyer was like fucking unbelievable you know he uh, wasn't allowed to sell that book how do you not get arrested really? after that book was made but you no know, he wasn't no no it was he it was first of all he originally it. called it if i did it and then he wasn't allowed to sell it and then the people who actually um the family that he hurt uh were able to actually sell it and then they got rid of the if and the book was called I Did It. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. We know somebody and, uh... else who did that as well, don't we, Tom? Do we? Do we? Oh, that weird guy was on my podcast who stabbed his wife. He got away oh, with yeah. that. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. D- D- Gemma had someone on and, like, during the podcast admitted that he stabbed his wife. Oh, <gasps> no. <laughs> yeah. What, and, that like, he fl- and, he, and he fleed the country and it was, yeah, wild. All right, there will now. be a link to that episode <laughs> in the description he's, below. He's near David now. Okay. He's on TV and everything, apparently. But yeah, he stabbed his wife three times. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. What, she dead? <laughs> no, no, fortunately. It's basically, no, just reminded me of that. He, he just OJ wasn't very good at it. it. So he, he admitted to this thing and he's not going yeah, to like... Yeah, I wasn't even aware. We was literally talking about... And you just went, all oh, right, okay. And then he'd come out with it and I was like... What do I do? He's incriminating himself. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> well, is that genuinely what you thought? Or genuinely, you think, yeah. Juicy. This, is, this is an amazing thumbnail right here. Yeah. This is serious. Wow. That's the first thing Tom would think of, right, isn't it? Honestly, yeah. 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 Damn right I would, yeah. I mean, this is, this is really, this. really terrible, but keep talking because this is... <laughs> That's what it was like. like. It was like, yeah. keep going. So, keep Tom. going. <laughs> Do you think wow. O.J. Simpson will actually reveal that he really did do it in a conversation? Well, no, he's dead. Now that he's dead, dead, so I doubt it. He's dead. Well, no, no, but as in, like, you know, here's my will. Uh, open this letter on my on my desk, you know. I think where he, he all actually... but admitted it, didn't he? Sorry. No, he, he'd, never, he'd never admit it. He even played the role of, like, all right, let's go find the, let's go find these killers. You know, and, like, and everyone's How like. How did he kill uh, he, yeah, okay. he wrote a book called If I no, Did no, no. It. He he wrote the book saying, "As like I didn't do it, but if I did, here would be the reasons why I would have done it if I did do it, but I didn't do it." But well, why would you make that book so he can make money? Weird... Yeah, that that checks out. That's something Tom would do. <laughs> <laughs> why would I do? I, no, I think that's even a bit for too far for me. No, that, that's something you would genuinely do. <laughs> you'd, get, you'd get accused of something and go. I didn't do it, but if I did, I would rip his head off and feed it to a pig or something like that. Honestly, that does sound so much. Yeah, 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 definitely yeah. Something you'd say. You're not far yeah. off there, Chloe. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Because even okay. if I didn't, I'd be like thinking, well, how would I do it? <laughs> yeah, and then you'd go, see, this is how I would do it. So next time so, you see a murder, you know that's me. <laughs> I, did, I did have full... Uh, so, so I've, I've started my new job. This is I wasn't supposed to be a segue into my uh, the fact that I've got a new job. But on the first day, talking about how you. is this segue into yeah, 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 you yeah, yeah. as well? There, there, there is a genuine segue here. So, but okay, starting my new job. But on the first day, obviously, it's just paperwork and shit like this. And then they put us with another lad that we, it's he's like they've got like a new office being being made and they're right. ripping up the carpet and stuff. And so what I, I was sent it? down. Can we there. know yet? Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's Lawson's, but it's the right. other Lawson's. 
not the old Lawsons. Right. Yeah. Okay. But anyways, Tip so we're aside. doing. Um, we're, we're in. We're having a bit of a break, and so there's me, this um, two other lads, and one of these lads kind of like stood. I'm, I'm sat on the floor against the wall, and he's kind of resting on the ladder. Like, Did they not have like, a big enough chair for you? Oh well, no, there was no chairs there. So we're, we're doing like construction y work or Oh, stuff right. Or... I'm sorry. I thought you said you were doing paperwork. Sorry. No, no, no. And so he's on. Um, no, not in the afternoon, it wasn't. Right. And so he's he's on this ladder, but he's resting on it and kind of standing on it. You know, as you absent mindedly do so on his phone. Right. And then my brain, my brain goes, <laughs> kick it. Go on. <laughs> kick it. Do it. Kick it. And I'm like, oh, fuck, I really want to kick it. And so I, I looked at him like, I, I I know I shouldn't say this, but I really want to kick off that ladder. <laughs> 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 he kind of looks at me and I'm like, I don't, not in a horrible way. I just I just think it'd be really funny if you hit the floor. <laughs> and... <laughs> oh my god! You have to and this was well, he, he now knows what kind of person right. I am. Well, <laughs> don't we all do that wow. in a way? You know, and like uh, without telling them out loud, you know. But uh, the thing that I want to do for so many times is actually uh, put like a train grill. You know, the ones for like pushing snow off the, the the tracks and go in between cars that are on stop and go, you know, yeah. and, just, and they go flying. I like, I dream, I, mean, I, I fantasize, fun. I fantasize about that. Where and then oh, so it, it, it's all happening in slow motion too, where the, the, <laughs> all the cars are just being turned upside down to, to the left and to the right. You're like full MythBusters. Wow. Oh, did they do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's 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 video clips of it. I'll send you I'll send you a gift. It's okay, good, 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 good. Um, <laughs> Wow. I tried doing it in my game, actually. By the way, I uh, it didn't it didn't work out very well. It kind of you tried to do what? Sorry, you tried to do it in I'm, your game. In my game, I I put I put like a grill in front uh, on the truck, and I put a bunch of parked cars that were you know. Oh yeah, but you'd need and, and uh, like physics just, and shit. Well, there is physics. It did a little bit. It just didn't do it as well as I thought. I, I was disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't quite the fantasy you thought of. It wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> Maybe you need to do it in real life and experience it. Oh. <laughs> um, just, just David, just check your phone very quickly. I just want to hear your reaction to this live. Oh boy! So I'm going to be like playing a video. No, no, you're not. It's, it's a GIF. It's literally just a GIF. For for those people who don't know what we're talking about, if you if you, if you search, you know, if if you can go on your phone and go into your GIFs and search MythBusters truck, and it should come up. It's fucking so. Oh, okay. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> See, that's what you wanted, isn't it? Oh, that is it. That is it. <laughs> oh, it's oh, that's fucking, brilliant. Yeah. Imagine that if brilliant. you had that plow and you could just go through fucking traffic, just have oh. all the cars being tossed everywhere. Oh, so but what about good. you know? Sometimes there's kids in cars. You know, that's kind of would suck for them. You know, Why yeah, but then correctly. You know, yeah, yeah, but can you imagine in a zombie point, apocalypse? That would be perfect. It would be, yeah. Yeah, you it could would just be. escape. I mean, you wouldn't be perfect in the zombie apocalypse. No, I would be dead. I think I would panic and kill myself. Yeah, I can but oh, that. that would be pretty amazing. That it's on a front fact. of row, row, front of a row, row, mm. and you skip lorries that your little your beehive, perfect. What and you because you row row, you'd have like your cabin, wouldn't you? Yeah, so the row row, you'd have your anything. cabin, you'd have a fridge unit for your essentials. And your little skip men running around. They could have them on the front. That would be perfect. They like clear the route and then your little hub comes through. I like that idea. Yeah. See, Wait, I think I think we it. could survive the we could survive the zombie apocalypse, I think, together. Yeah, you're How a about bit you, over the other side of the country. Well, you've you've got you've triggered a little memory in my, my head. So I do this thing. How? I want to think about the zombie too. apocalypse. How is that possible? <laughs> Back in my oh, day when there were the zombies. Walk, I've been watching The Walking Dead recently. I've oh, just got into it, as we said. But no, that's not the memory that I'm thinking of. Like, you need to talk to Kayla, in which case, she's obsessed with it. <laughs> I, I love it at the minute. I love the the, 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 the main guy, the copper, the white guy. I don't know his name, but he's a really good looking lad. Rick. Is it Rick? Yeah. Rick, Rick, Rick Grimes. Love him to be. Uh, if, if she's watching his live, which she might be, she's, she'll be downstairs screaming that name. <laughs> oh, I can't even do don't that, get me wrong I? it looks amazing but the zombies but, don't, cool. don't but no me. you and David sort of said something there so when I go out and take my photographer for my mental health I go out and I take photos sometimes I just look at my camera and think I could just chuck it in that water I could <laughs> chuck the phone in the water I get weird things like that when I'm like really, yeah. I don't why know why would I want to chuck your phone in the water I don't, I don't it's know not, it, it's, it's, it's not, not that I want to do it it's like I could really f- throw that Oh, there's my camera. Bye. <laughs> I get these weird feelings. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just walk off and leave it. Like, get the drone. When I get the drone up, it's like, I could really fly into that house and just. Yeah, yeah, you could. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And I even wow. thought about getting like little 
Amazon drop things where I just drop like my doggy bags onto people's heads. <laughs> That'd be fucking hilarious. That'd be so much fun. <laughs> just little you, you know, you know what they do in wow. Ukraine? Cause they, all they have is a hook and they just like dip the, the, the drone forward so it kind of comes off the off the hook. Yeah. That's yeah, how Amazon is on about it See, right there at some point. When I was um when I proposed to Kale, um oh. I had there was a couple of different choices that I had. Um, oh, right. And so there was this there was a mountain that we used to go to, or we go to, and like it's kinda of like it's one of our little places we watch like storms rolling and shit like that. It was like a really amazing. Or one of our favourite places on the entire island is this pier. Right. Uh, and it kind of goes out. It's like um, sunsets are unbelievable there. And it's like this really nice pier. You've got the waves lapping underneath you, stuff like that. But it's all wooden slats all right. the way along. I'm like, yeah. Where's this at? I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to drop this ring. <laughs> I'm definitely yeah. going to go through them slats. <laughs> like, so there is only one place I can, I can go then. Oh, fuck. How that would have been horrendous, wouldn't it? That would have been awful. Um, all, all, all I do, I can't... I'm actually engaged, but your ring's down there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll have to go find it. Did, did you swim under Aphrodite Rock with her? Because apparently it'll uh, give you endless love with the person that you're with. Because when I was in Cyprus, we already have endless love, Jammer. It's I know good. that. I've, I've been, <laughs> we don't yeah. need a rock for, for those that. of you who don't know. I've spent time with Tom and Kaylee, and I loved it. They took me around oh. everywhere. I know. I was well jealous. Yeah, it was really. It was you are. So there, there is a standing invitation for you, Chloe. And oh no, I know that. No, I know there is, and I will be there. I just you I better thought, have me. Jammer beat me to it. I was just like, oh yeah. my god, straight if, after uh, one we, of the There's so many places. Because Jammer we, brings a cool camera. I was are like, you talking about Sicily? No. <gasps> no. Cumbria. <laughs> don't do that. The Lake District. Oh, I didn't go to Sicily. <laughs> God sake, man. <laughs> what can hell, what no. did you do to me there, David, mate? You don't want to do that. God sake. I like how um, Phil's put in the comments, by the way, saying, have you ever thought that what would happen if you just stepped out of the truck doing 56? Yes, <laughs> yeah, I, I do. Yeah, yeah. 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 I feel yeah, that, have. yeah. I think yeah. I've thought of wrong. everything, and some good, some bad. Yeah. Like I've, 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 I've thought like it's, it's that kind of as, as you're going down. Do you, do you know when you, you really, you, you let the kind of truck go a little bit and you get some speed? Yeah. Right? You look at the embankment, and you think, yeah, what yeah. this is going to get that. If that was like, if it was GTA, <laughs> your intrusive thoughts would GTA definitely right win, now. and you'd be like, Whee! well, <laughs> have you ever uh, there's a uh, beam? Ever does this computer game? Beam and game, G, whatever. yeah. Beam MG, as I think I have that. I have it, you know, and I I, have, I use a semi truck, and I did some really fun stuff with it, you know. Like, uh, you know, have you ever heard of that, Chloe? Beam? I think I've seen clips of it where you can do things at speed. I think and just everyone has seen. You can it. change yeah. the gravity on, on, on TikTok. Yeah, you can, so change, you can the change the gravity. What it's like, a, like, a, yeah. like a, it is on the sun, and it basically like, yeah. it, it squishes and it just to a pancake. Just like the moment it's yeah, it just starts. It just oh, squishes. Yeah, the it's just like yeah, 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 yeah. No, that is cool. What are your yeah, favourite roads then to actually do it on? Because mine's one, mine's sort of part of the A1 where you look down, and it's in a valley, and then the M1 A14. That's a very good question. <laughs> like this. Which ones would you go off? I've I've had know. I've had going down the M5. You've got like a bridge you got to go over, and it's quite Bristol high. One. No, the M5 down in Exeter. I don't go any further than Exeter, Jammer. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> His name's Prince. Uh, can you Sorry. go there, please? <clears throat> Prince, ghost of Prince. Um, Ghost of Prince. All right, Casper. <laughs> Should we? Well, just Prince is, is Prince alive or is he no. dead? <laughs> no, we, we have we've established he's dead. Is he dead? We yeah. established this a while ago, David. That was ages I wasn't ago. listening a while ago. Yeah. I thought apparently fucking not. I mean, you have one job. Like, no. on you have two jobs to listen and to talk on the podcast. Can I just point out, Tom? He... It's ten o'clock in the afternoon for David, and he's uh, morning. Sorry, and he's drinking. It's, it's not ten o'clock in the afternoon. There is no such <laughs> thing. What surprises me most is that you haven't questioned what I questioned when this outfit actually come. Did Prince even, did Prince even have an afro? Because every time I see him, he had straight hair. He had it. He had it straightened. He did. I'm sure, he had an afro at one point. But yeah, he? apparently I, he he had I just thought, thought you might question that. So I'll just. Oh, honestly, I, I really, don't. I don't geek out about Prince. I'm sorry. No. I don't. I don't even like him. But I wanted the Michael Jackson one. But I was doing a party of an '80s, and I thought, well, I can't go as Michael because there's kids Why? there. Oh my god! <laughs> so, well, it's one or the two. Yeah, you just dressed as a lad. You don't have to do anything, you dickhead. Yeah, he I likes playing really the character. Involved, right? He like, I he get likes really involved. Yeah. involved. Yeah. I've got a couple of dubs up this sleeve. You know, it's it's, it's full role play for you. Hundred <laughs> percent, yeah, mate. You get the you get the full package. I tell you what. Look, I have, I have, I, I ain't even wearing a top. Look, it's just 
I mean, I've, I've I've just googled I've just googled this, and honestly, it is it it is staggeringly close the resemblance here. Like it is. fucking no, I staggering. Think, I, close. It really is. Nobody will question who he is. You no, know? he's definitely the ghost. Except for Chloe. 100%. I didn't question it. Thank you. <laughs> you it was it was Tom. Tom ruined it in the first place. All right. Do you know the, the only thing is. So I've, 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 I've googled Jammer. Prince, and I've got all these pictures of Prince, like with his like guitar and stuff like that. And then in the middle of one of them is a picture of Prince Andrew. It's not the Prince I want. <laughs> it's not the Prince that anyone wants. Let's be honest. <laughs> Oh, shit. You've seen that video that's come out. It was on Facebook the other day, and I commented on it. I got quite a lot of likes on it. It's, it's a video. It's called Nonce, Prince Andrew. Say what now? <laughs> so oh, I've, I've labelled it as um, <laughs> directed by Jimmy Savile and music by P. Diddy and choreography by Michael Jackson. <laughs> was it is, P. Diddy? Is P, is P. Diddy? Yeah, have you not heard? It's all come out this week. Yeah, P. Oh, my Diddy. God, oh, I have not heard. Tell me Justin more. Bieber's even got a new song out called um, uh, P. Diddy's, P. Diddy's Party. Put it, Find it. You'll see what I mean. Yeah. I don't want to listen to Justin Bieber. I do, do I have to not? Do I have to listen to Justin Bieber? Justin Bieber's good. I actually like Justin Bieber. I think he's got some nice tracks he, out there. Especially with Skrillex. He's, right. he's, he's got a lot like. of skills. Yeah. He's, he, he's, I like he's, him. He's just Plus a douchebag. Is P. Diddy the one that went absolutely bananas and went on that... That he went on that talk show with a mask on and stuff like that as a Nazi. No, that was, uh, oh. yeah. What? P. Diddy was the one that basically got Biggie Smalls famous. He was his manager. And he sings a song with Usher called, I need a girl to ride, ride, ride. I need a girl to live my life. That kind of thing, yeah? I don't oh, know. I'm missing song, you. The missing amazing. you song. Missing. You know, the missing you song. <laughs> Let's just keep I on going. Yeah, keep <laughs> singing. <laughs> No, Kanye West is who you're. Uh, yeah, Kanye who, West. Who, who you're yeah. thinking of, Tom? That that, that went onto the podcast with a, a mask on. Oh, and, he's uh, a bit of a weird he's he's the crazy dude. one. He's made yeah. his new he... girlfriend look like Kim, isn't he? As yeah, well. he's he, getting us to dress like Kim. Yeah, so yeah, that's proper doppelganging. Some weird stuff, isn't it? Yeah, and then it's he turns around. He says he dresses them because he doesn't want them to look weird or embarrass him. Mm. There are some very clever, fucking crazy people in Hollywood yeah. now. Is it mm-hmm. just me, or are people getting weirder? Hundred percent. Like, well, it, it, I think a lot of people find out that uh, the more weirder they are, the more popular they get. They may not even be weird in their head. They just say weird shit. Just like, just like in uh, you know, in politics, the the more crazier you are, the more publicity you get, the more cameras you have on you, the more votes you're going to get. True that. It does. Yeah, it, it it does seem that I don't know if this is going to be like a bit of a hot take. It 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 seems like where enabling people who clearly have mental health issues and have like well, it's had, known like, that he has mental health yeah, but but it, it feels like it? we're kind of like as as a kind of like it you know say for instance like even like 20 30 years ago if someone had, had was like going that off the rails that have been i kind of like taken out of circulation as such or whatever you want to say yeah, maybe not taken out but them. like but but now it feels, especially with like the advent of like TikTok, you look at some of these things, like some of the people that are on there that would once have been, once upon a time have been like the people that you see in like the thing saying the end is nigh. They've now got a <laughs> fucking platform, and they're now sp- uh-huh. spouting off stuff about like about like um, fucking like oh, just all sorts of just crazy. Like the sun isn't real. What? And, oh, the, I've it, not this seen is, that one. Yeah, it's yeah. Not, the sun's not real, and like, obviously, then you've got like your classics. You've got like lizard people. Uh, yeah, uh, but flat Earth. Lots of and people it's just like that. flat Earth is another classic one. Flat Earth. I, you got people like me coming on a show dressed as dead people. You know exactly. That's that's weird. <laughs> as when well. did he die? But, I'm sorry. I'm still not convinced he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> we are really hung up on this. Uh, this David's he's not, not dead. David, he's he sat there, sat there. Going, he's not. You're dead, the ghost David. of him. Um, he died um, 21st of April 2016, age 57. 2016. Wow. Yeah. I didn't think it was that long ago. Time yeah. flies. Time has flown. Fucking really does. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you who died yesterday. OJ Simpson. <laughs> oh, <fuck's sake. laughs> Honest to fucking god. Right. Oh, I am so lost. What you guys are yeah, on this about? Is, this is been fucking. <laughs> well, this, this is, is what happens when, when Jabba's on there. We, this uh, is what happens yeah. on a Friday night when Jabba's in. <laughs> oh yeah, just, Prince. Prince. It, Prince. If you're listening to this and you're like, 
these guys have got a really weird energy. We've all just finished work and come straight apart from except obviously for David. David. Except who for just David, got up three hours who's, ago. who's only just woken up. <laughs> and he's except drinking a beer. for me as well. I and and, and he's time drinking time a beer at what time in the morning? <laughs> it's uh, 10.38 right now. <laughs> oh, what a legend. Yeah, but what he's a Irish. fucking legend. I, do you know what? He's, he, before he came on the podcast, he goes, oh, it's too early, I'm not drinking tonight or today. Whatever How long did that last? Uh, half an hour. Oh, oh. <laughs> Genuine yeah, no, question I there, was ter- David. I was thirsty. Okay, I literally was thirsty. I wanted to drink water. I wanted <laughs> That's to not how that works, David. The only thing That's that was in my fridge, the only thing that's in my fridge was beer. I was like, ah, fuck it. The tap, you dickheads. What? The tap. Water. The tap. I don't have a tap right next to me. I have a fridge of beer next to me. Okay, fair enough. You should get Leave him tap. alone. He's Irish. Allow that. He's, a, right. he's Irish. Anyways, I have a new job. <laughs> okay, tell I'm, us I'm a truck driver. Yay. How many jobs is this year? Yay. I, I broke something immediately last. <laughs> you broke down? You broke something immediately. Yeah, like immediately. Oh, my actual day was God. This, about well, I mean, driving. You, you wanted drama <laughs> back, so there you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I broke my broke suspension. How? <laughs> Did you sorry. get in it? Yeah. <laughs> wow, so <laughs> well, mean. Wow, well, come on, you horrible. opened yourself up for that did, one. Yeah, I'm I just, did, yeah. Yeah, Chloe said it before I did. No, I, I, it, just, it just went. It wasn't even. I wasn't even doing anything particularly bad. But yeah, did you I've, been, I've been driving an, an eight wheel, eight wheeler, eight wheeler, and yes. fuck me, they are hard it's to not turn. A lot of, it's not a lot Their of wheels. turning circle is awful. It is. Is it just a standard sh- eight wheeler, not like yeah, a yeah, Trident yeah. axe or anything? It is. Just got weak it's... arms from driving vans. <laughs> I tell you what, you, I am. You probably, right. it's going to take you a minute or two to get used to that steering. They're well, fucking it, heavy. it is. It is heavy steering, but yeah. the gearbox. Oh my god, the fucking what gearbox. is it? What have it's, you got? Um, it's. I don't know if it's going to be good or bad. This gearbox. Is it? It's, uh, is it? Is it? Packard what four over four? The, four over four. Yeah, yeah. Right. And what is it? Um, it's a DAF. <laughs> How old? It's... 2018 is it? Well, not too old. But then. is the gearbox good or bad? Oh, it's fucking terrible. It's, <laughs> okay, it's, thank it's, you very much. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like I honestly, my 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 knee hurts from using it all week. It's like that stiff. Like trying to like when 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 I'm at a traffic light, I have to release the clutch. I have to kind of take it into neutral. So the clutch is bad. Clutch. Well, not yeah, it is. But the gears itself as well, I have to kind of like. I on, honestly give it a week. I get no. Give it another week or two, and do you know that that scene from Family Guy where uh, Quagmire comes out uh, when he discovers the internet? Yeah, yeah. When he discovers the internet, and he's got like a massive, uh, massive arm. Just one of them. That's what my arm's going to look like, and my left leg's going to be about the same as well. Um, it's fucking. It's hard work. Is uh, is using that there? It's also very weird getting used to um, getting used to a lorry. Uh, uh, well, a lorry, but also like an eight. Because obviously, I've done tipping before, but it's Arctic tipping. Oh, you've done Arctic then, yeah, eight wheelers. But they're, they're not very as very different. Well, they are, but they're not as like, like. So, so I had I had the body up in the air, and I've been carrying a lot of dirt, like just yeah, muck. yeah. And the excavator driver's behind me, and so it's oh, it's up in the air, and I can see him like going wait, and it's not coming out. And next thing I see, the excavator arm come and just knock into the side of the body a few times. <laughs> and then I can hear the rest of it coming out. I'm thinking, wow, you could not do that on a class one. Holy <laughs> shit. I, I'd have got out. But apparently on a class two, that's fine. That's normal to do that. Yep. Crack on. So you must <laughs> so be a little weird. bit more like the Roros then. But that they've got like a different sort of boom sort of thing. So they're a bit safer with that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they, but... It definitely feels a lot, a lot more stable. Like a lot, lot. It's more just your turning circle. You're now going to have to get used. Well, you fuck. could turn an arctic. You're like, I fucking can't Is turn it. There. No, <laughs> you no, are? no. Just, uh, okay. it's just kind of. So you're not a real truck driver. Oh, you know. <gasps> excuse me. It's the same That's size lorry as me. Thank you. Yeah, I know. I've already said that in the past. That was the last <laughs> time you drove, David. In fact, you yeah, you can actually cool. you can well it's like, it's like I can book a trailer. <laughs> well, uh, well, here's Touché. the thing. Well, you know, played, uh, drive, well uh, uh, um, he plays um, every day on his game. All right. <laughs> here's my steering wheel right here. Yeah, he pretends <laughs> to be a real truck driver, driver every driver. day. <laughs> well, so you know how you've been driving your car, and yeah. you you know the you know the little game like the little the, the steering wheels that you get for like computers. You know how small they feel compared to your car steering wheel? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, my car steering wheel feels like that 
compared to the daft steering wheel because they're so fucking big. <laughs> I get in my little oh, car and I'm like, fucking hell, it's like, tiny. <laughs> Genuine question. And, I've, and, I've, and all as well, I live three minutes, three minutes from... So <laughs> it's, it's the all week because all I've got to do is go up walk? to work and back again. No, it's it's like it's like a thirty minute walk, but it's like three minutes in the car. That's like it's literally just one minute long walk for you, isn't it? You double step. Shut it. the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> so I I can only okay. just see the needles moved on the on the fuel, but it's three minutes, and I stalled it three times <laughs> my car in them three minutes. So <laughs> technically, it's once per minute. Because I'm so used to have because with the with the the DAF engine you kind of need to bring your clutch up a little bit faster. Yeah. And so I keep doing that with my car. <laughs> 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 Fucking keep stalling the bastard. <laughs> so Useless. Uh, I've got a genuine question for you for that truck that you're driving there, Tom. Because I don't know how it all I works. really I, I feel like it's not going to be genuine. I say again. Does it have double steer axles on those? The like, the front. It, it both does. Yeah, yeah, the front two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. the front steer. It doesn't help you though. It I mean, does, wait, does it, does it steer at the same the time? So yes. Or does it go by momentum? As in, like it only like if you're if you're stopped and you turn the steering wheel, yeah, it will go. Both, that, both, that will, both yeah, of them both will turn. So no wheel I mean, just goes, goes when your hand brakes on. You are what? Hmm? No wheel actually carries on moving with your hand brake on. <laughs> oh no, because you've got your hand like brake on. You're not going forward. Yeah. So, you know what I mean, Tom? Do you mean if you turn no, the steering wheel? No, what the fuck wheel? are you talking what? about? <laughs> the problem you had today. <laughs> oh, what have you done? Oh, I, wasn't, I wasn't actually going to mention that. <laughs> no, I do um, It was... I've got lights I'd, Today, I'd got out and basically I'd taken... I put it into... Because so, it's such a... Because the, the, the gear is so fucking stiff. I've take, put it into neutral... Right. But it's like it didn't quite come out. So it's not fully gone into the neutral spot. It's just kind of stuck in a little bit. So one wheel was still moving in fourth gear, but the others weren't, and the handbrake was on. <laughs> I, I've never seen anything like it. And even the, even the excavator driver was like, what the fuck is that happening? How the hell did that happen? I'm like, don't know. Don't know. We'll just ignore it. It's all good. The gearbox what, is going one very wheel? soon. Just one, one wheel. One wheel. Not like just a whole one. axle. No. Just one wheel. And considering it's four wheel drive. <laughs> yeah, I, I've never seen that before. Oh. I've never. I, I feel never like you should be before. hired at a at a truck shop. Just to like, all right, let's, let's have Tom drive it so we can really see what's wrong with it. Because <laughs> he's the only person who can mimic these I, I uh, should, situations. What you're saying is I should be a truck beta tester. Well, yes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I literally sent, I sent David a video earlier where it was like a little girl that drives a, the Volvo truck. Brand new advert, wasn't it, David, I sent you? Yeah. And it's like they, they test run this little girl. And she has like a little remote control, and she does yeah. it all. It's not a little remote truck. control. I'm sorry, right, you, you got to get. Right, it's a it's huge a remote one. control with yeah, a lot of buttons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that should be Tom doing that. Yeah, yeah. I'm done. The honey, I shit. shot the kids' remote control on the lawn. Have you seen the hamster one before? Yeah, that's the one. What's the, the hamster way? one? There's uh, there's one where they get a hamster to drive the the Volvo truck. No. Yeah. yeah. How have I not seen that one? Uh, I'm sure it's a hamster or something. Oh, like it's the way the hamsters learn that if you if you manage to back the trailer up into no, the dark basically perfectly, they get fed. So the more they you have to like learn from that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it's to show how how good the steering wheel is on the on the Volvo trucks. So they get really? ha- they get basically make a big hamster wheel on the steering wheel, and they get like a carrot or something, and then the hamster would walk one way and then turn the truck one way and then walk the other way and right. turn the truck the other way. Yeah, because the new Volvo steering. Is how very is that light. proving that the steering is good? Well, like light, light touch, isn't it? Well, uh, I don't want light touch. Is the thing ooh. you want to? Sometimes you want to <laughs> feel what you're doing. Like I want to have power steering, but I don't want it to be so light. And like, okay, the difference between in my own pickup truck, uh, the DF150, versus my wife's uh, Honda Fit, hers is stiffer than mine. Like my car, it, it just it's like I, I, anytime my sons have ever driven it, they're like, "Whoa, this steering is really light." It's kind of like you don't. It doesn't feel real. And like you, sometimes you want to be able to feel the road when you're turning. You know, but when it's that light, it's like I just feel like uh, it, it it could be a hindrance in a way. You know, yeah. um, I'm with you on that, David. To be fair, they're taking too yeah. much away from the truck driving. It's now driving its bloody self. And just, uh, Phil, just quickly, uh, yes, the wheel was slightly like it was kind of like it wasn't wasn't off the ground, but it was only just touching because there was a bit of a divot. 
Right. That makes. So it's kind of in drive almost. But it wasn't. Oh, it's fucking. I've never. Yeah, I've never seen that before. But the thing was, it 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 was kind of. It was almost. It was almost out. It's just. It's really stiff. The other thing is, it fucking doesn't want to go into low range. No. Like the amount of times that I've had to kind of like I've I've been at a traffic light and I was in high range and I've had to flick it up and then back down and then into this and try and flick it here. Yeah. You got people pipping you and you're like. Yeah, it oh, definitely seems like off. a clutch problem somewhere. Yeah. I believe. Obviously, or you're just not used things. to it and are a bit of a spanner. Yeah, but I, oh. I, I agree with that. I'm a spanner, but I, I'm pretty sure there's something also <laughs> wrong with it. They're well. useful. <laughs> two, two things, two, two things can be correct on that. But no, I don't. I do 100 believe in what David was saying there because you, you drive trucks now and you ain't driving it. You're just a steering wheel attendant. Like I was speaking this week about on that truck I've got with a wing mirror and it comes up with the two little orange lights to say there's a vehicle there. But it's like I fucking know there's a vehicle. I can see it. <laughs> Why is it showing me that? And, I've seen that know. on some new cars. Actually, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do get that. it though. I don't, I don't get it. Is it because they're just taking everything away from drivers? It's like, oh, this big forty-four ton is coming around the corner. We need an audible because pedestrians cannot see or hear you. What? You'd yeah, be but what's going the, on? At, at the same time, there's also a lot of very thick drivers out there. Yeah. Well, truck drivers, for instance, why do we have to hand our keys in at warehouse? I know because some driver decided to drive off the bay. Oh, why? Right. What? Why? Well, that's why it's all, all introduced yeah, because yeah. a forklift driver oh. come off the back because some. Yeah, that happens to us to too. Drive... Yeah, but why? Yeah. I well, why? the story I heard. The story I heard was that it was they they were unloading him and it was taking too long. And he drove off with the forklift in the back. Oh, so wow. the forklift driver's still in the back. That's that's the story I'd heard. Doesn't matter how long he's in there for. It's health and safety. Don't drive off when there's a human being on there. Someone's child at the end of the day. I mean, day. that's a little bit extreme. Yeah, that's a bit of a dick yeah, move. If you look at some of the fucking road races, it's, it's it, well, this it, is true. Like... There's some actual bellends you know what? around. You know what sucks? All right, so let's say it's uh, you're backed up to a dock. All right, and you're getting unloaded. You had to hand in your keys to the uh, forklift driver so you don't drive away. but And your, your window's down. All right, so nice day. But all of a sudden, it starts raining. And now you can't roll your windows <laughs> up because they have your fucking keys and you need the ignition to yeah. be fucking on. Why did you <laughs> like, windows down in the first place? Because it was a nice day and then it started raining. Oh, well, can you not open your door? Me. Sit there with the door open. No, you go on your bed, don't you? Just go on your bed. Leave the rain to rain. I, uh... that's, why, that's why I always have two keys, by the way. For, yeah. for I, I, was, I was literally about to say, I, I have... I have handed my car keys in before. You talk about that. Though. <laughs> How much do you like it? I pa- listen, if if they can't recognise Ford keys for a Scania <laughs> truck, that sounds like a them problem. But yeah, I think How it might be the Vauxhall keys at that point. There. When but... you're talking about the window open when it rains, how how great is that feeling when you see that guy, the sales bloke, in his convertible <laughs> M3 driving round because there's a little bit of sun and then it rains. <laughs> so I've that does I've make seen me very it in happy. Cumbria where it started raining, it started absolutely slashing it down. They had a convertible, and because of the Cumbrian, they're like, "No, I d- I don't care." I've decided <laughs> when I set off that I'm having a convertible, and I'm not changing my mind. This is happening today. <laughs> I do I do like that. Just um, get the umbrella out, It'll be fine. I do want to talk about something else. We won't, we won't um we won't mention any names for this one here, but um. One of our friends had a bit of a a do this week, didn't they, with some online troll? Allegedly, yes. No, not allegedly. That is oh, right. what it's, happens. It's a true story, but I'm just yes. using the word allegedly. I'm so sorry. Why? That doesn't make any because, sense. It's true. Because you're mentioning a friend that we cannot name. It's Chloe's so catchphrase. I was just adding allegedly yeah. in there for the fun of it. It's Chloe's it catchphrase. Chloe's every every yeah, it's great. Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. Um, I've not used it for a while. I thought we'd do it. That's yeah. true enough, actually. You haven't. Yeah. So basically, um, this person put up, I can't remember what it was, but like basically, well, they, they, they'd written like loads of shitty things, but they've actually, they've got bots to do it yeah. and paid. So they've clearly paid money to have that this message just spammed in chat. This is someone... Yeah, it's basically to yeah against the friend. Yeah, and it's like it's well, it's a fellow, it's a fellow YouTuber. Hey, what? And, Am I missing some? I don't know this. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. It's basically it's a, it's a, a fellow YouTuber, and he's it basically. I know exactly what 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 they've done. They, they've they've clearly pissed someone off 
and this person has just gone out on a full vendetta yeah. against them and decided, yeah. like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to post... So he's trying to cancel them. Their money. Yeah. yeah, basically trying to cancel them. And it it's so... So I was thinking about that, but it kind of led on to... And I... It, so this is a kind of like... It kind of leads into a kind of trucking thing as well. Well, it was really offensive where, stuff as well, just to clarify oh, it, it, that. It was really, like, life-changing, dangerous stuff to say. Yes, it so it, it, it was. Oh, yeah, it was it fucking it was nasty stuff. But it was nasty, yeah. It, it's one of these things, I think, that with with the technology today and how stuff is going, I think this is going to start becoming more and more of a problem, where if you say something or... If like someone doesn't like you, this this will be what what happened to him. Someone he'll have ignored someone at a services, yeah. And this person will have had a right fucking hissy fit about it, yeah. And like decided that they're gonna have a massive cry, and that's what. Why are you doing it over the keyboard? If you're face to face to face, it'll be like a foreskin, money. It'll it'll, when he gets (laughs) stiff, he'll hide. Exactly, exactly. (laughs) But it's not. But think about like on Uber and shit like that. Yeah, we're we're sweeping straight over that. We're not going back there. (laughs) Right, but, I've never but think about that. like you know Uber and the fact that you can like rate people. And if someone, if you don't like a slight interaction or something like that, you can basically oh, ruin rate your... people. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, I thought you said something else. What the fuck well. did I was about you to say, think I was saying? Yeah, you I thought that for a while. Guess. Okay. Yeah, I nearly right, told no, David. <laughs> mark, mark, like, rate. mark it. How rate. we do that? Is that a real no. thing that people? No, do? But like, wait, I'll, I'll, I'll bleep. People. I'll bleep every time he says rate. No. All right. I will start. I start with the R and just bleep every time. Every time I'm saying so right, take a shot. With, the, with, with like the with the rating of like, of people, like it, it's becoming like you you, you, you kind of you yeah. don't want to kind of say things. You don't want to kind of like say the little like, just in case like you get like one star again, like Uber Eats and shit like that. They have to try and be like the absolute. But I I think this is going to become more and more prevalent, especially in like I I genuinely it worries me that this is going to start becoming a thing in trucking, where like where you'll go into go into a, a dock as as Americans would call it, and like if you've if you've been polite, they'll rate you whatever, and your company will get like reports back. But it it seems like that this customer Isn't that service. Isn't what that has become series like... was? Wasn't there a series Black Mirrors or whatever it is? Where it they was the, or- the Orville. Is it? I it thought was an there was episode on the Orville. Oh, there was, yeah, yeah. So well, I think again, yeah. It's, down it's very it. much like that. I think they're, they're actually going to crank down on this because they are mentioning different protocols on social media. Um, they don't like it because there are children on site. They don't want to be reading these nasty comments. And if you are a full blown adult that's thrown yeah. your bloody dummy out and you're being a right bitch about things, kind of thing. Sorry for swearing, listeners. But <laughs> grow a pair, mate. If you don't like you, I'll walk on, jog on, mate. No one cares. There, there well, is genuine, give, you don't yeah. need to backlash on a keyboard. Do you know what I mean? If you don't look at me, I'm black. Now, I <laughs> my last I help. <laughs> it, it, just, it just feels like the, the 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 times have been able to just walk away from a situation and something being said, walking away from it, and it just being what it was seems to have gone. Now we're kind of going to this modern age of like digital. The fact that people can kind of come and say shitty things on your Facebook, but or they do people it on can YouTube. Rate you like they could actually, star, yeah. or like say for they instance, could hurt. You, they could hurt my company. I I was literally yeah. going to say this exact thing, and this is a point. But go on, you you say it, David, because you know it's is... just because I have to defend myself all the time and act very nice. I get I get some comments saying this is the worst game ever, and but you've uh, got a game. Yeah, it's called yeah. You, Wait, yeah, it's, what a game? What game you got? Oh my god. Is I hear it's the best game the, ever. This, this joke will never. Will but what go on, sorry. I, but I will. Uh, I get. I'll get some nasty. I'll get some nasty comments that I really wanted to say, like some not nice stuff, because they've insulted me. They they don't realize they're insulting me as an individual. I'm the person who you know who decides all this stuff, and I don't feel like they're they're. Re- it's it's not like a company that they are, but I want to so badly uh, respond harshly to these people who, who don't, don't, don't understand what I'm, what I'm trying to build. Now, if I do, I always feel like every, because everybody has the power to give me a hundred thousand one star reviews because all I have to do is go get bots yeah. and that will ruin my record. Like, I, I, I'm very proud of my four point plus uh, stars on my, uh, on Cutie my game. Stars, and... Opinions are like our huh? souls and everybody's got yeah. an arsehole. Oh, yeah. full of but it, it, it does it does scare me is, is what i was you know it's like there's just so many times i had to like kind of uh hold back 
and talk to him politely. I'm really sorry that you that your experience in the game has not been what you expected. As in, like, have you tried this and have you tried that? You know what I mean? So I had to really, really word it properly to where, they, <laughs> but, where but, I wasn't being too defensive. J- Jammo, on, on your on your point of opinions like our souls, mm. everyone's got one. Yeah, that that's that was once true, but now. But now the you problem can't is when, when don't no, lower no, yourself the, to I, their I, level. Get, I get what you're saying, Gemma, but that's not how it is anymore. With how it is now, if someone's got a bad opinion of you, they now can actively do stuff online to damage. Whether do it be it. Yeah. if you're if you're a delivery person, they can call up and they can kick off and they can give you one star review. That has an actual impact on your job, on your life. Like how many times they, have they you can... been on the road and you've had a phone call to your office complaining about your driving or something? Have you ever had that? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, fuck it. <laughs> I'm an ex-taper driver, oh, so I'm a taper driver, actually. Answer Tom, that, question. Evidently. You don't, you don't want to answer the question. At the end of the day, I've you get out what you, you, you... Look, I believe in karma. What you do will come back to you. So if you're going to go around giving grief like that to people online, you're going to get it back in some form, shape or form, whether it's you or your kids are going to get it. So I always... I'm like my dad. I'm old school. If you've got nothing nice to say, say nothing at all. Simple as that. Just keep... What, just move on. But I understand actually, how detrimental it can be to businesses. I get that if you're getting bad ratings, but then the company needs to look at their their employee and say, "Well, how real are these comments?" You should know you you should know your well, em- your, your worker. It's on Google or Yelp or whatever, right? So there's this movie, all right? It's called Beef. It's um and our TV show, whatever, right? But they they had an the dude was just basically uh, a local. Uh, he, he worked on roofs or he worked on construction. He was just like a contractor or whatever, right? But he kind of relied on Google and Yelp and all that kind of stuff. But he ended up having a run-in with a, with, with a woman. And she didn't like it, didn't like what he did. I think she, he flipped, she flipped him off or whatever, and he, she found out who he was. And then she blew up uh, Yelp and Google reviews. And with, she created accounts you know, where it's just, uh, and then it destroyed his complete, complete business. It's just that people have the power to do that. So as a business owner, you got to be really careful of what you actually say, because you, you have individuals like this that could actually, you know, be a Karen and fucking ruin you, you know, and well, you can't fucking go call Google up and say, Hey, can you take this review? Cause that's not right. Uh, we, well, we have no proof right now that uh, that's not right. Plus I'm a bot and I'm not really listening to you. So on that, on that same thing of, of people calling up and complaining, Chloe, Yes. It's not just that. But if you go and have a look up, almost any company in yeah. the U- any trucking company in the UK, I bet you if we go and have a, actually while while we're talking, have a look up on your company on Google. Oh no, I've looked. There's loads of good ones and then there's always the odd one. I think there was one that's saying um your company shit or your drivers drive like yeah. bellows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I I've, I've just, just like... gone. And then, then my just... boss or someone has literally replied saying, I'm sorry you've experienced this, but can you give me some regs? So I, you know, and then it just comes back going, they're all just dickheads. I don't need to give you regs. It's like, well, how does that help? Well, <laughs> so I've, I've just, I've just searched trucking company near me. I've clicked yeah. on the first one. I won't say one of these. Just follows a blank uh, HGV from Junction 36 towards Barrow Furnace. Driver showed no consideration for other other users. Tail guiding other drivers, deliberate driving over the white line. This and this almost knocks a cyclist um, over. Do not use with this a, transport company to carry your haulage, as your goods will probably not arrive in condition. Drivers seriously need to take off the road. Why have you gone to Google for this? Why have you gone and given a one star review? Probably why are you been so held angry? Up by them. They've been held up by them. But why yeah, but are you so angry that you try to put the company into this dispute? This is this is the problem. There's so many people, people out there, and all they want to do is just try and, try and take things down. Whether it be a person, a YouTuber, because oh, mm-hmm. this person, I, you know what? I I was at this services and I waved at this person, and this person didn't wave back. I'm going to be very <laughs> angry. And I'm going to try and ruin them or. This person who's just followed a truck. They haven't been Probably, cut. They, yeah. They've not actually been directly affected by them, but yet they still decided that they were going to go and give a one-star review and put uh, put that up on, on the company thing. Or like David Game, he doesn't want to say anything to someone and tell them to fuck off, that they're being stupid. <laughs> go and download a different game because they'll, they'll, they'll downvote his game. There's too much of this online stuff where people... It's like some some absolute ass bandits have fucking too much power online, and it's honestly it's crackers to me. Yeah, I. That's I, my rant, by the way. Sorry, that is good rant. <laughs> Phil's put in the comments. Obviously, a lot of people more complain than compliment, and it is nature. It's true, and it, yeah. it is. You do watch videos, and you might 
in your head go well why have you done it that way I was like but then I always try and look at the positives and go oh you know you're just learning or well done for that or whatever yeah. or some people can do something that you can't do and it's just like well look for the positive in it unless someone's being I've... an absolute bell cheese and fair enough do you know what but... I've always wanted to do I've always wanted to, you know, you know them that on the back of like a van, it says, um, "How was my driving?" Called it over. Yeah. I've always wanted to call up one of them companies, and when they say like, you can say, "Okay, I'm um, following this this registration vehicle," and so how was the driving? Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> it was just give them was like it, a, was it, a, was a it good? 5. No, not really. It was, you know, it was all right. It wasn't bad. It wasn't good. It was just all right. Hmm. Why are you ringing? Well, sure no, it says on the back. He wanted to know how the driving was. Yeah, it's was, it was, it was, it was fine. It's not the best I've seen. It wasn't the worst. Wow. So you're going to what, what, what is the difference? Average. What, is, what is the difference between the best? Not happy what would or make bad? this driver the average. best truck driver or the best driver? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what would. What, what, yeah. How, yeah. how would you give somebody five stars? That is a good point. <laughs> what would make. Would like, give them, perfectly yeah. driving to where. <laughs> give me a blowjob. Five stars. Hey, don't do that in Levi's anymore, right? <laughs> like, uh, maybe, maybe the. Uh, it was a lovely clean truck. You know, they indicated perfectly. They, uh, you know, they just. Uh, That's a nice but, uh, one, yeah. 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 No I, I, no, I don't want to say that they've been good. I just want to say, yeah, they're, they're yeah, all right. All right. Pretty, pretty average, like pretty, pretty run of the mill. Like, if 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 they use the indicators, no so issues with them at all. At he ends up getting fired though. because they, they they only they only want perfect drivers. <laughs> Can you imagine? Low I just like the idea. I like the idea of the boss like bringing him into a thing. I'm going. Someone's called up to say that your driving is adequate. Average. <laughs> <laughs> well done, sir. <laughs> Don't Bless know. him. Really, really tickles me. So you asked us to uh, Google our company, and basically, uh, one guy gave a guy one star. Your uh, your truck number, blah blah blah, uh, blocked me at a pump at the blind truck stop, a blind J truck stop. Fuck he you! He was out at at least thirty minutes. There was a lot of spaces to back up and to do all your needs. Please tell him how to properly communicate with other drivers. And he made a video. Wow! He <laughs> put a video of this. How much effort is it. needed for this? You know, it it's just gone on another oh, pump. F- Fuck you. you know what I mean? It's just, oh, I want to like that anyway. video. Weirdly, I mean the, the one that we're not, not going to say. We're not going to say what it is because the reason why we're not mentioning the person or what was put is because we don't want to give this this little fucking this troll this little weasel no. any more fucking right. you know credit than what it's it's due because it's not it's not you know. I, I'll stand in here, Tom. Mental health perspective, right? See what that. Is. So, anyone listening, these comments that people make on YouTube, you know what it can actually do to the person inside. It can actually destroy their soul uh, to the honestly, point it, where it, they can it leave has him their lose the their fuck family. Out. It's not really. It's they, not fair. It's not fair because he's got the worry. If he's got family and kids, right? He's got bills to pay. He could lose his job. Put it this way: those kind of comments are why reason why men's suicide rates are so blooming high. Leave your yeah. comments to yourself. There's no need for it if you don't. Want to say anything nice? Say nothing at all. Yeah. Just leave well, it. Well, you could also just, on the other side of it, you could also like, well, maybe maybe you shouldn't be on um, in the public figure then and don't post videos on YouTube. People should be allowed to do what they want. If they want to show what they are, they should yeah. be allowed to film themselves. No one has the right to tell people what and what to do. It's Turn the comments life. off. Turn the yeah. comments off. You, you can do that with every single video, every single platform. Just do what Turn I do. Turn the comments off. I see a video I don't like. I don't put a thumbs down or comment. I haven't got the energy. I just carry on and scroll by. Well, that's what I think. That's what ninety nine percent of the people do. That's what you should do. They just, you know, it's but you jealousy get, you get people when you put bad comments down. The majority not, not of drivers. Not only do I not put see. thumbs up or thumbs down. If I accidentally put a thumbs up or thumbs down, I very panically try to take away whatever it was because I don't have want to have like. A, I feel like if, if I've given someone a thumbs up, I feel like I should give everyone a thumbs up. Unless no. it's really good. No, you should just be yourself. Oh, you should. Are you talking about your, the, the comments that you've received? No. No, no, I've, 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 I've watched a video. I've, I've, I've received delete bad, bad comments. comments. I'll be honest with you, I delete bad comments. I've not had, you know, what I mean, I've had a few in my past, like, but I'll just remove them because I don't want my other followers to see that kind of language and abuse put on there. It's not fair for the people that do enjoy the stuff. If you don't enjoy it, move on. You don't I, have I to always be negative to, to everything so that yeah. everyone sees them. I have done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. And it gets you very angry your, when you do that. Let your friends just go. Yeah, for but it. on a majority, you're on the road all the time. I guarantee you see more people that are driving badly, but you never oh go off God, and report yes. them, do you? I've seen a car weaving in and out. I have a BMW this morning, for instance. 
could have cost three lanes because he wanted to come off because he's a pleb. He doesn't realise that's the junction he needed. It's the ones so that get go pissed off at you. No. It's the ones that get pissed off at you because you've accidentally cut them up because they've not done their because job Because they're properly. self-entitled, narcissistic And then they think, pricks. oh my God, that dickhead just cut me up. And you're like, well, hang on a minute. You actually were yeah. in the wrong lane and you didn't indicate and I didn't know what you were doing. Yeah. So Establish I proceeded yourself as in I the should. lane when you need yeah. to. Simple as that. Plan. Well, I forget the word. Maybe you guys can help me. Was it fail to plan, fail to prepare or some stuff like that? <laughs> on a beer. I, I'll ahead. be honest with you. <laughs> I, I just, I stick up, I, I stick my podcast on, all my music on. I just chill. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Unless it's directly affecting me. I don't care. And even when it has. The, the reality is, I, I can you think, right? So last month, can you think of a bad driver? Yeah, I reported one. It was Irish Every as time well. you come on the podcast, yeah, yeah. you Why report a driver, Jammer. <laughs> Honestly, I no, swear. But, uh, you're, no, but you're listen, one I was of these respectful. One star. No, I was very respectful. I didn't go on their company and rate it. I actually rang the company in Ireland. This driver right. was undertaking it, and he, the truck driver, actually nearly killed a guy in a BMW. In the BMW, I, I admit Is that it, really it was a bad thing. No, no, hear me out. <laughs> The BMW driver did nothing wrong. All he did was move over into lane two, was on the M6. People listening, they wouldn't know the road six, the road, uh, Junction 10, Wolverhampton, we're coming down through all the roadworks. Okay, it goes 40, 40, 40, 60 when you're going past Little Wensbury. You follow it round and it gets a bit tight round the corner when it goes into two, three lanes. It splits off to central Birmingham or carry on past Star City. So you know where I am. Right. I can't, I'm not going to say the Irish company name because you know what? They did really well on the phone. No, they did. And, I, and, I, and right, I was, okay. Okay. I, I'm respectful. It come, this truck driver was so impatient. He was screaming and shouting in his truck. I thought he was going to have an arse attack. I'm thinking, mate, you need to calm down. Your blood pressure is way too high, bruv. What are you doing <laughs> driving? I'd step out and have, have a word with yourself. And he's got right up the arse of this BMW and he nearly oh, smashed wow. him from behind. He then decided to cut me up in lane two. I had to slam on. And then yeah. he went into lane three, which you're not allowed in that lane because it's not for restricted vehicles. And he's bombed it off. So I rang the company. I gave them the reg. says, look, I'm only ringing you up because of your reputation. I do not want your reputation going down the swan air because of that driver. It's not yeah, fair. Yeah. I said, that driver needs really does need checking in. And he went, it's okay there, mate. We've got cameras. We'll find him and we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that properly and promptly. I went, thank you so much. I said, look, I'm an HGV Did you driver just myself. tell this whole story just so you could do the accent? No, I didn't, did, yeah. but I have to speak because, like I said, I get into character and I like doing the character. But again, I never once disrespected the company because I didn't judge the company based on one individual. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I based yeah, it on yeah. the individual. It was his Unlike act. Tom that judged BMW drivers as yeah, a whole. black man's wheels and that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, we like Jags, by well, the way. I, I'm having an this just, just out of curiosity, was it a yellow truck? No. <laughs> mm-hmm. It was a yellow one then. I, I know exactly what company this was. It I I've I've seen them driving. They they won't fucking do now. Anyway, should we no, do truth no, or lies? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh shit. True well, or lies. It was yellow, to be fair. Uh we don't it call it true or lies, so we call it would I bullshit you. Yeah. All right, Tom, well, are you ready? Well, now, wait, no, how do you want before that? Do can, you want to I was gonna say, can't you just what? say that thing, Tom? Because if you've gone straight into this, you might as well tell the story that I told you today. Because obviously we can't do that on which one? The bullshit one. The Chinese no, 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 fellow. No, got... huh? The Chinese fellow. Oh, that one there. Can it be a Brucey oh, bonus? I sent it, yeah, I sent him a nice little video today. And he but that's not it. truth or lies. No, that's what I'm saying. You have to do it now because if we did it, we both know no, the truth. We'll do it don't we? the end. Fine, fine. Oh, we're, we're moving on. <laughs> <laughs> right. Unlucky. Um, pick, do you, pick are a... you, are, okay, I'm, okay, I, I, let, let me, let me pick 10. Uh, okay. So just very quickly, for those people who are kind of new, because there are some people that might not know what we're doing, but I don't know you know. Basically, we, we, this is what I lie to you. Um, Look I, I'm going to try and convince them if this is truth or lie, this statement, but yeah. We'll see. Don't know if that's so. Um, I once made the first, or well, one of the first social media websites, but no one turns up, and it took me years to realize what I actually had what? Explain I that I believe again. it. What? True. So I, I made one of the first social media websites. What was what, like on Facebook it? sort of thing? Well, what company did you use? What's... I don't know. This was, this was me. 
I made yes. it. What program? Yeah, was yeah, right. okay. What code would you use him? Um, I think it was like, it was like Killer Rabbit something. It was like, uh, it was something. Oh, you do Rabbit, like Killer Rabbit? Okay. That is a, that is uh, what a code did name. you use? Yeah. What code? So it was based on a forum. Um, on a on forum software, I can't remember what I can't for the life of me, I can't remember what it was. But basically, I'd had this idea that rather than having it as like a gaming thing, it would be a personal thing. And the idea was that it was like all my friends could use it to talk about like their personal lives, and they could like invite their friends in, and we could have like loads of friends talking about all the personal stuff and like what people had to like you know what the people had to well, eat like, and shit like that. So basically essentially a social media website what we now know today but this is before anything and why didn't you do it i did i made it i fully made it what, what year was this uh this is 2000 Aha, we caught you you couldn't think of it right away <laughs> <laughs> it was it was many many years ago he's lying uh, it His sounds arsehole's moving it sounds realistic <laughs> you know i feel like um this the situation could be Easily be true, I, you know what I mean? Is it a true. story? It's, Tom. But, it's so easily. It's true. Tommy's a geek. You know? It's definitely true, hundred percent. You know, back in um, back in two thousand, and actually, literally, in back in two thousand, I, I, uh, <laughs> Geo Cities is uh, is yes. what a lot of people used to uh, get free websites. Correct. And so I created a website. If when all it was was just pictures of my kids, pictures of stuff going on. That way, my parents or whoever wanted to actually see my kids. Could just click on the website, and you know, I I, I updated it a couple of days, a couple of times a week, and all that kind of stuff. But I was like, oh god, it would be great now if everybody had one of these and they could share pictures. <laughs> you know, what I mean? it was yeah. just uh, I thought, yeah. So I was like, oh, well, that okay. that was that was the idea that I'd had, <laughs> and I wanted it to basically like rather than having like usernames, you'd have your actual name and you'd have like picture like a profile picture rather than it being like of a character or something like that. It'd actually be so your pictures. Facebook. So basically, MySpace. Facebook. Mm-hmm. I, I essentially Our created Bebo. Facebook Bebo. before Facebook. Well, actually, it was Face Party was the first one. And you had you had users, and they had. Oh God, yes? no, no, Pe- no one turned up. I was the only person. Aww. I was the only person that I could Did convince you? to I feel join. So bad for and, you. Yeah, I was. I was the only person. I created a full profile on that thing, and no one turned up. What was it called? I don't like gingers. No one turned up. What was it called? Mate. Uh, it was. Uh, really. it, it had a shit name. It, Killer Rabbit like, Killer Socials. Rabbit I'm going to say that. true. I'm locking that in. I'm going true. I've got to say true. It just seems too much like you. Yeah, I'm going like, to say uh, true. Plus, I, I feel really bad. I, 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 I should have made this one less believable, shouldn't I? Because <laughs> yeah, it, it is completely true. I did make the first. I, well, I don't Aww. know if other people have done something similar, but yeah, no one turned up to it. It was only late years later. I was like, wait. I made this shit. I had literally <laughs> had this idea, and no fucker turned up for it. And now I wonder how many Facebook. other people had that idea too. I, you know? I ch- chance are quite a few, yeah. But this this is before yeah. even before Face Party. So I feel really oh, bad. Oh, I feel Bebo. really bad. Fa- Face really Party bad. is like before Bebo. Yeah, I feel really. Oh, bad. I never heard of Face Party. Yeah. Tom kind of told no, me this story a party. few years back. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's all it is true. Oh shit. Well, that's, well that, that makes me look like an absolute twat then, doesn't it? <laughs> all right, zero points for um for oh, Tom then because yeah. he was feel... unable as, to as convince always. anybody that uh his story was true. So, uh, Tom, you get zero. Oh, uh, David's Chloe. actually marking it on paper though. Yeah. He's doing it all officially. Do you okay, actually do okay. like a monthly thing here where the, the most points actually wins like something called a wooden spoon for the loser? That, that should be, be nice. a thing. That should definitely be a we'll thing. Get our, we'll get our producer on top of that. Yeah, that'd be quite cool. <laughs> right, it should be a forfeit. And I think if anyway. people are playing in the chat as well, should at least win a consolation prize. That'd be quite cool. You know, if you tally spoon. them all up. <laughs> okay. I once made a child I was looking after violently sick. You want to what, sorry? I once made she... a child that I was babysitting, looking after sort of thing. Um, violently sick. How? Uh, how did you make them violently sick? That, yeah. that may be the first question. Well, I was like 15, um, 14, 15, and I was looking after this like 10-year-old called... Uh, oh, was he called okay. Jake at the time? And, um, Wait, yeah, Jake's what do you mean at the time? Up, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> is now Jasmine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's, called, he's still called Jake. I just can't remember what his name was. He's called Jake. <laughs> anyway. Now, how, yes. how crazy were the parents... Because they trusted their kid with you. I was a very responsible child. 
That's right. Allegedly. One, yeah. <laughs> um, Is that allegedly? Well, I made this child sick. Um, <laughs> what did you show so him? So I... <laughs> I was looking after him and he wanted to go to the local park. So I was like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's fine. And there was no kids at this park. And uh, they had a roundabout. And I was like, oh, awesome. Oh. And at the time I was like into horse riding quite strong. And even though I was quite a younger girl. And uh, he wanted to go really fast on the roundabout. So I absolutely obliterated this roundabout. With what, a moped or something? <laughs> just with, what? Four, with the wheel. like force. He went so fast around. And I didn't stop, even though he was asking me to stop. <laughs> and I kept going. And he went quiet. And I went, oh, maybe I should stop now. So I stopped. And I went, Wait, do you want to go the other so... way to make yourself feel better? So I went the other way. That works, doesn't it? Yeah, that does work. I, I thought it would work. Yeah. Yeah. And he got off and he was like, he was all right for a minute. And then it was like five minutes kind of passed. And he was like, yeah, I don't feel great. And that was it. That just vomit just kept What coming. park was this? Just vomit. Um, it's wherever they lived at the time. I think. Well, it was you should Exeter. know. You should know. This is too I real. This sounds very rehearsed. Doesn't matter about drawing. You should know the name of the park. I know names of parts as a kid. What's the park? I don't know. I don't even know where I, I was. Jammer, I actually I, I will can't say. Remember. I don't think I could. I I have taken my kids to many parks. I don't think I can name a single one of them. Hashtag bad father. I think they lived somewhere <laughs> in the back. I'm joking, by of, the way. I know you're a great. I think dad. they lived like at the back end of Exeter somewhere. Is I it? think. I can't I remember. Know. Go on, go on. See How many TikTok swings were on the park? TikTok, so she'll say something. It's like different. two swings. Okay, so you can right, remember the swings, but you can't remember the park name. Okay, no, all, it's any in park. The field. <laughs> all right. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you were fifteen. Uh, you were during. Was I this was. during school? Was this during school? I was at school time? still. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, how old? Sorry. How old was the kid again? Uh, he was like ten, I think. I think. He <laughs> I love David. He's brilliant. So, me? Yeah, because you ask the questions. Factual. I know what you do. You're clever. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, did you get paid for this? No. It was because you destroyed the kid? No, no. It was just my mum's friend from work. And I think because she volunteered you. They to, had, to, they to had an the event kid. on. So they got me to look after the boy. Event. And did you get anything out of it in return? Oh, I was just a good kid. Vomit, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you get paid? I don't, I don't remember. I might have got paid. I can't remember, to be honest. My pocket money always went on horse riding, so I don't So you know. went from daddy's little girl to daddy's heart attack? No. How did I go to a heart attack? Oh, you made a kid violently ill. Oh, yeah, but that's not a heart attack. I didn't thankful. tell the Thank God. If, it, if, if the kids had a heart attack, something's gone very, very wrong. <laughs> they well. actually right. No got one up. got they... that, did they? It went straight over the red. It's a song it called went straight over Bad Babysitter, actually... by the way. Oh, I was pretty much a bad babysitter. I turned around to the kid and told him not to tell his mum. <laughs> <laughs> did, <you> re- <laughs> did you bribe him? Uh no yeah. one ever found out, as far as I know. No one ever mentioned it. So, yeah. true. so this is this is now very much true. Yeah, I'm going to go true on yeah, this. hundred percent true. 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 Oh, true all around. Damn it. It's true. Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't okay. have added that little lecture detail. It could have been either way. The second you added that detail, I'm like, yep, this is coming hundred percent true. God, we're, we're, we're speed doing these tonight. Tonight. <laughs> all right. Uh, give me a, give me a number. What, 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 between, between one and what? between one and Six. sorry between one and looks like twelve. Six. Twelve. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, I have been, I've been to a nude beach. That's yeah. That's pretty. To be nude what? or to watch nude. Hmm? Yeah. Were you nude? I've been to. Uh, I I wasn't nude. Did you get a stiffy? Are you allowed to go to a nude beach and not be nude? I thought that was like a. Yeah, thing. you can. I, I believe you can. Yeah. Or oh, oh, we. Were you like at the top of the nude beach with a camera? <laughs> I didn't have a camera. <laughs> <laughs> so where, where, where was this nude beach? It was in France. In France, I can't honestly. I cannot remember the actual town because uh, I was like ten years old. I don't remember. Oh, you I don't went remember. to a nude beach when you were ten years old. Well, I wasn't supposed to go. Well, I'll take back the oh, stiffy park. Beach. I'm not a pedo, but I was. Um, I was at I was at another another area and I went for a walk and I found a nude beach where what, well, so were, a lot of people were naked. You were allowed to go for a walk by it yourself wasn't that far. in France. It wasn't that far. It was yeah. It was it, it, it was it, it was at a caravan park where we were supposed to be hanging out and uh, we did hang out there. But so know. so who are you who are you in France with? My parents. Okay, right. So it's a family. It was it was, it was, a, it was, a, it was a it was a family trip. Did right, you tell okay. your mum and dad about it? I didn't. 
<laughs> why? But I was, uh, huh? Why didn't I tell him? Yeah. I, didn't, I don't know. I didn't, I, I, first of all, I left. <laughs> I didn't want to get in trouble because I saw I was a bloody peeping Tom, for Christ's sake. <laughs> what, 10 years old? So, so what, what, how did you see this? What, what, what did you actually see? What were you, actually, what did you see? I saw, I, I saw, saw naked everything, people. I'd imagine. <laughs> yeah, no, I saw, I saw everything. And I, back then, that was probably the first time I've ever saw. Stop on your boobs. <laughs> it was it was great, you know. What a great a ten year old kid sat. I, I remember when I was, I went on holiday with an ex, and obviously it wasn't an ex at the time, but yeah. And oh, I don't know. Yeah, we were, we were, weird. Yeah, <laughs> we're we're very weird. very weird. Um, and there was this there was this last sunbathing next to the pool with us without and she didn't have a top on oh no. and i remember just being so very awkward because i'm like I don't, <laughs> I don't know what i'm supposed to do <laughs> you have your boobs out and they're right there but i'm also very consciously aware that i shouldn't look at them Why how old are you just for milking kids they're just for feeding kids why do you have to be Im- immature about it tom i don't get it because i want to look because he's boobies. immature boobies are great they are i love them big you know, double E's, double S, come right in, baby. Yeah. Good Lord. <laughs> oh Jesus God. Christ. That's, that's, <laughs> that's the reason why. <laughs> but still, if you're on holiday, mate, you know, they haven't got the bottom bits down, so it's normal. But th- there was one thing, yeah, in Cyprus, a bloke just walks out full blown <laughs> naked. I saw his penis and everything. My girlfriend at the time saw it as well and they laughed. I went, hold up. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> and you looked, didn't you? Because obviously you looked. Of course, I looked. I yeah. thought how I small it was. I thought I, 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 I stared. I did a lot of staring. <laughs> I, I knew I wasn't supposed to be there, and I just couldn't stop but stare. I, you know, but uh, yeah. Was there anyone was... actually attractive there? Uh, he didn't look at the faces. They were all. I don't <laughs> know. Again, they were all. They were all old as fuck in my in my opinion because yeah. they were all <laughs> they were all older people. So I just was watching. Again, I, I it is very peepy, Tommy kind of thing right you know so, what i mean so basically I just... the the podcast name is david is a peeping tom <laughs> yeah <laughs> i prefer if that wasn't the one but uh it is now <laughs> you know what I... I actually believe this to be true you know i feel like it is actually true because i have when i've been on caravan holidays we were, were, were so where we live we used to have this thing called uh, a mabel Thorpe children's holiday home it was for people like me and my family that were council estate were on benefits. We couldn't afford holidays. And I was a little kid. And the home that we was with at Mabelfort says, come on, kids, we're going down to the beach. And I remember we're running down and there was a woman there laying topless. And I went, oh, shit, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> and I run the other way. <laughs> so it happens. I have, I, I understand. I understand. You know, I, I, I believe this. And it's something you remember when you're little as well, isn't it? Yeah. It's like it is. First... It sticks in your mind. Oh my God. I, I still remember walking through was with my mates. It's a core memory. Yeah. A, basically. A magazine it was like a first. And it made me I, disgusted I, I, women when I was a little kid. How, yeah. long did, how, long did, how long did it take you to get to France? What, from <laughs> Ireland? Yeah. Uh, we started in England. Were you walking? And... Oh. Huh? Did you yeah, walk? Because that's there was totally a... what you do. No, no. <laughs> huh? Walk into yeah. France. Well, again, oh, wait, again, so you're, how, how, it's how thirty. Did you get there? Huh? How did you get there? It was a ferry. What ferry to where? I don't remember, dude. I really don't. I don't even know what towns we did, were in. Did in the England. women have their hairy armpits? Did it? Mm. <laughs> it was definitely France then. I mean, I, I was, <laughs> I was trying to get it, get the thing of like, can you actually get a caravan to? France well, from no, Ireland. That's park, what I was trying to get, but, but no one, but no one has helped me out with this. No, shit. it's a caravan oh, right. park. I <laughs> yeah. get that. Euro parks. Yeah, yeah. Euro like, parks. Yeah, yeah like or Haven. you can drive onto a yeah. ferry and then you can catch another Wait, ferry. Who's supposed or... to answer the questions? Well, Not you. No, but to be fair, this is too <laughs> yeah, true. David, how did you get a caravan over it there? Does... <laughs> Fucking hell. A ferry. Right, let's just oh, vote. This one's okay. gone downhill. Okay. We've not we've not helped with this one, have we? All right, true or false? I'm gonna go true on this one here. I'm going true. Before I answer, I just want to speak out Phil's comment there. David, do you know where England is? <laughs> it's to the east of Ireland. <laughs> it's to Nailed the... it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I nearly said west. western like a twat. <laughs> I had to get my bearing. <laughs> you're right. You're it's right. not. If you go west from Ireland, you are going to be travelling for quite a while. I think we'll it's eventually true. get to David, Never though. Eat so it's good. shredded wheat. Okay. Uh, yeah, I do believe it's true because I think it's one of those stories that i think we've all we've all stumbled across in our time 
I think oh, it's I have not. I want to say out there, I found porn in the woods, woods, and that's about it. Yeah, so right. did I. Made me Go feel on. Sick. What is it? <laughs> uh, I, I get three points for that one. Oh. No. Well done, David. Yeah. Fair play, sir. Uh, Tom, you nearly caught me out. Can you bring a caravan across? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what's the talent? This is oh. fucking oh. I really don't. No I have no idea. No one helps me out here. <laughs> and then you asked me where? Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't know. I couldn't name one bloody city Thank you for in, not in France. Me anyone, and then Chloe for <laughs> answering the question for him. You literally ruined us here. I'm so sorry. I didn't get the game. No, obviously. no. I, I get with Chloe. I'm with Chloe. There are I was going to say parts. the channel, but then I was like, wait a second. Thirty years ago, when did when did the channel open? <laughs> you know. <laughs> I didn't have I a clue. It. No one helped me out here. <laughs> we need to be as a team here. It needs to be as I a team. Folks. Right, I'm sorry. Jammer, go on, do yours for fuck's sake. Uh, I've got so many. Right, we'll start with this one. So when I was a little kid, being an adventurous dude like me, my dad used to repair uh, video headsets, if any of you youngers out there remember them, but you don't. But anyway, well, yeah, we, we know what our video is. Normally, this is just a sentence. <laughs> you know me, okay. mate. I'm a storyteller. <laughs> All right. I burnt, All right. When I was little, I burnt my hand on a soldering iron because I grabbed it. Oh, who hasn't done that? Yeah. That this is, feels like something that was is. Was it bad? Like hospital bad? Yeah. It was quite bad, yeah. Have you still got a scar? No, it weren't that bad. Oh, well, Show us your hands. You went to the skin. hospital, but it wasn't that bad. No, I just blistered. Blistered. Went into them now. The bubbles. The, the, the bubbles. The bubbles. Did you cry? Oh, I'm a soldier, mate. I didn't cry, no. Did you get yelled at? Of course I did. I got pasted. <laughs> pasted? Pasted, mate. Sure. Leather, leather slipper, so, belt. What did you, what did your dad say to you when you burnt your hand? Well, my dad was quite a bad dad, so yeah, it was, it was really horrific, mate. Right. So, so this, this isn't fair. This one here, because you no, it's we not. Can't, you we can't answer this question, right? I'll answer the question. Ask the question. So your dad beat the shit out of you, right? Okay. Yeah. So what else happens? Like, how did he grab this soldier? <laughs> Fuck, Jabba, well, you're killing back, us here. So it weren't just me that he. It weren't just me that he beat up as well with my mother as how well. How old were you? Because he's a young child. No, no, you cannot do this to us. This is making us, we can't ask more <laughs> questions. I was around about three years old. Uh, no, wait, please, no, no, that. no. There's not a hope. No. There's not a hope. No, you wouldn't remember it. Oh, so that's what you're going with. I'll about... give you. Oh, I remember no, everything. I'm not going to help you. Give me. Well, I was born in 85. So from three years, think of something from three years after that, and I'll remember. Being born. It. I remember the Brixton riots in 85 and Madonna was on live. They got her tits out. Trust me, that was the same year I was born. I remember that. <laughs> what? I remember Madonna hitchhiking Do you not remember in the that? city. This is, yeah, this is true, mate, yeah. 1985, Band-Aid. Come on, baby. True that. Jamma saw it. <laughs> or he has the internet that he can go back to. Him. And anyway. Wait, you remember All right. Brixton riots and you were... How Mate, we were you? the first people on the street to have Sky TV and Gold, and we had a proper satellite. We were the only ones. We had a Scirocco, which was E995 JVC. That was a reg plate. My memory is fucking wicked. Uh, sorry, Jammer. We can't check that out. So for all we know, yeah, that could yeah, be a lie. That's, that, that's Let's all be honest. bollocks, as far as we're that's concerned. All I'm, right. Personally, I'm not, I don't believe him. Yeah, so I had a reg of uh, Persia when I was younger. It was a V298 yeah. HCY. There you go. All right. True that. You think, hold on, just to, just to clarify some questions, yeah. all right? Uh, you said you were three years old. No. I was around about that, that sort of age, you three? Yeah. I was still in So nappies. it could be four or five. No, no, no. I was you were still, still in nappies. nappies. Yeah, I was still in nappies. So you could, be up to, you could be up to eight years old at this point. No, because my dad left <laughs> okay. when I was six, so no. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is bullshit. He is, this is bullshit. You are okay, I'm going to see a jam. No, my this. final answer, my final answer is this is bullshit. Yeah. I don't care what you guys, whatever, that's just... He ain't getting a fucking point from me. No, I... This is bullshit as well. I'm going to go bullshit. I feel like there's too much... Do you know, like, um, when when, like, <laughs> when when one of them bombers, like, something gets target lock on it, and there's all that flak that goes out. So, you know, like Hercules, and it's like that. That's yeah. what's going on right now. There's flak going everywhere, and the, 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 the point is to try and confuse the sensors. So, I'm going to go with this is bullshit. Yeah, I... Bull. Bull. Okay. Do you remember when I told you that I lived in a woman's refuge? My dad was a bastard, <laughs> no. mate. Yeah, I actually did touch his soldering iron because he left it on, on the counter and I grabbed it as a baby. Yeah. 
This one was wow. unfair for us. This one was so unfair. All right. Okay. Gemma gets three points. Clearly don't Gemma listen to my podcast and listen you to episode two, my depression and what caused this, it. This, the story's this there, is, mate. You. This is so <laughs> bad. <laughs> Mate, it's out there. The truth is out there. It's on the podcast, you know. Are we allowed to use trauma as a defense on this? <laughs> this feels like it's an unfair advantage. Are you trying to say that my thing wasn't valid? That my story is not valid? I'm I'm trying to say that I'm still you've feeling used that. this to cheat our system. The, the next one that you tell cannot be as traumatic, please. If I'm honest, I'm struggling to, like see Jammer in like real time because he's like slow motion camera at the moment is what I'm watching and he's telling oh this real full on story that we're meant to go oh my god and all I'm doing is just giggling in my head thinking it's hilarious how he looks what am I running behind <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sat here going he looks hilarious I'm so I'm so am, am I running behind uh, so, oh sorry yeah. I don't know if it's just my camera or what but you are like really slow motion but and I'm giggling not. to for myself me, all oh, right, oh. to me it is hilarious. Yeah, it's just, just to you, well, right? To me, shall I hilarious. go? I'll try and I'll try go and do a, a lighter one than this. Number one. Number one. That's a good choice. What's number one? Um, do a lighter time, huh? Do a lighter time. That's yeah, not how sure this works, lie. David. That's <laughs> not how this works. <laughs> um, I once had a party. That got so out of hand, the building had to get remodeled. Say that again. I once had a party that got so out of hand, the building had to get remodeled. You threw this party. This sounds like Project X to me. Kinda. Well, is I this don't. This is the Bert Kirshner story. Huh? The what story? The, the guy. The guy who does the machine. The guy who, like the machine. You know <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. that story. The machine. Now. Where was the you living machine. at this um, time? Hmm. Where was you living? So I was living above a KFC in the middle of Lancaster. Oh shit! I probably shouldn't say. And that, you're an actually. adult. Um, no, I was like eighteen. Who are you living? Who, who, who? Did you have parents that uh, hey, well, loved you? What, what, what is it? What's, what's the lie again? What did you say it was? Say it again. Um, I okay. So I, I once had a party that got so out of hand, the building needed to get remodeled. Right. Okay. So that was a lie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, me and my mum didn't get along. Hashtag trauma. Fuck you, Jammer. No. So it was basically, <laughs> I'd, I'd moved out. and There was, there was some beef there, Jammer. I was going to say, yeah. you loved your mum. You've told me. Your mum and you are very, very close. So, let's not... We are now, but we weren't. So, go fuck yourself. Sorry. I know, I know Sorry you said to... you've come right. up with... Sorry, Tom's like, mum. I know TV you did problems. a great job. Which is all right. Say again, sorry, Chloe. You've seen Tom, have you? Um... I know you said something about having TVs or one TV for the family and not having money. Well, no, no, so right. Look, my mum wasn't here at this point. So I, right, I, okay. I'd, I'd moved out. I'd moved out like a little this while ago. Basically, I got, I'd got a job at KFC. Right. And where were you living? They you had. Live? So upstairs, That's there was. Convenient. It was the, so it was this. What, big you living old, upstairs KFC? Above KFC, yeah. No, that yeah, don't yeah, happen, bro. KFC. What, KFC's got its own living building. In KFC There's no flats like... above no KFC. Well, yeah, that's well, what I mean. Was he living in the offices above it? No, no, no. no, no. no, no. There was, was, no. was like a kind of. A Did you get the KFC job before the apartment or the apartment before the job? The KFC oh, job before the apartment. What, well, and then you got the apartment through the KFC job? Yeah, yeah. What hours did it operate? Since when did KFC like supply properties for workers? Oh, yeah, so if you come and work in KFC, well, we give so you an apartment. There, there was like, it was like this multi, like, it was like all like, there was, it was like one big. So there was like one big um, living room area. There was a kitchen, and there was like five bedrooms. And the only other people that were up there was this Chinese couple. And no, more the KFC work. Sounds like trafficking yeah. to me. This is lies. Man. How did you get the people? How did you get the people to show up to your party? Um, he walked downstairs. <laughs> Come upstairs. Did you get KFC? I, I don't know. I so I'd invited a few people around because it was my last night there. Or like it was my either my last night or the second to last night. You had friends when you were eighteen. Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy. <laughs> that's that. That's the most unbelievable part of this whole whole story. I believe you have friends, but nothing that you would uh, where they're online. I believe you got lots of online friends. I just don't no, no, no. Know. Genuinely, I, I had friends. So it, it kind of but all these people came round, and I don't remember. Really, there was a point where it turned 
and and so, so one of the people fell through the ceiling and that's where it started getting what? like how many people were at this party first of all I don't I'm know. thinking of a rager quite a few quite a few what yeah. was the Most, entrance oh, what, your what, what's a few well, it's like 20 people 30 or 40 30 or 40 where was the entrance yeah. how did people get to you did they walk through the restaurant or what? No, no, no. There was like no, a, there's side, there's a door. side door. There was a side door. David, don't help him out here, please, sir. Very good point. Very good point. Okay. <laughs> so you got 40 people. And sorry, and this, is in, this is in London? In Lancaster. 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 So how did you put the call city? out to these? Yeah. Huh? How did you put the call out to these 40 people? Because I don't, I do, genuinely, to this day, I don't know how. I, I invited did you a use few your of website? my mates. Were you out drinking no, on, and then you no just one had No one had turned up if I did. Huh? Were you out drinking and just invited people back? Like basically, party? yeah. Basically, yeah. So 40 um, people provided the then, stairs and fell through the ceiling, which don't add up because you can fall from an attic ceiling because it's yeah, weaker floor. The but, no, but you're not, though, because you in the by health and safety, you can't. You need to have proper, sturdy, hard... Odd. Jam out. This is this is an apartment above KFC. Yeah, exactly. So it's going to have a proper floor for it to be what? livable. If you if you haven't got Did proper flooring, it doesn't sound legit. What? Well, okay, it, legit. obviously Living it in sounds an attic, like there's six foot seven, six foot ten. Tom in an attic. What? <laughs> You'd only fit in half the blooming room. Yeah, you're going to happen by no chance. <laughs> what? Plus, it'd be smelling up there. Did the person fall into? Into the living room area, the the main, the common. Okay, area. so they didn't fall into the restaurant. What did no, everyone no, do? No. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, David, he fell into go, the restaurant into like the deep fat well, fryer. Chicken so, sauce. Someone, <laughs> yeah. Deep fried chicken. I, I, ju- I, just, I just remember I was, I was talking to someone and then someone said, Sheldon's fallen through the ceiling. Sheldon. Sheldon. So I look, I look around and all I can see is this pair of legs just just waving around on the ceiling. How did you see um, the legs waving? Were you below them? Because they were or, halfway or? through the oh, yeah. ceiling. They were, well, they were through the ceiling. I, I, they, I, they, so your flat up had two legs. floors, so it's a three-floor building. Well, there was there was the attic above it, but the kind of you could go up to the attic and the Honestly, attic was Honestly, Tom, mate, you're chatting Bob right now, bro. Bullshit. I'm so, <laughs> So How the attic did you was see like... his legs? There we looked up and they're there. No, no, I just looked and there was legs so through there. So it's three stories. You got KFC down here with Uncle Uncle KFC guy cooking chicken. You got Tom up the middle. Yeah. So you got Tom at the middle watching someone's dangly legs, and then you got someone in the attic. Well, <laughs> was the <laughs> attic turned into turned into a room? <laughs> it's still the attic. Mm, How did they make the way up there? But not. Is it a rope? <laughs> sleeping bags upstairs. <laughs> it's kind of like, I don't really know. It was like rafters and shit like that. It was the attic This sounds like, like it's like part was... of KFC offices and you just guys went, oh, we're just going to live up here. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Broke it. It's yeah. what it sounds like. I believe... <laughs> I believe Tom worked at this particular KFC. Yes. yes. I don't believe he lived he, I don't believe I don't believe that he lived there. He and I believe that the situation ac- actually existed. But, but it he wasn't, wasn't his at the party, party itself. Yeah. Saying a party he was very moment. jealous yeah. because he didn't get invited. Yeah. This is yeah. bull. This is BS. So I'm going to I'm going to say I personally am going to say bullshit. Yep. Yes. Yes to what? Yes, my Bullshit. Guess. Sorry, I was coughing. <laughs> <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> All right, so Tom <laughs> How many points are you getting? Uh, I get three points. This story what? is oh! completely true. No, no way. You're like, you just said that all... just to get this. No, I want proof, mate. I want pictures. You would have took a picture the, the, of that. The, this, this fully happens. This fully happened. There was there were ramifications for this. I had to escape <laughs> Lancaster. I don't know what point, but someone said, someone had apparently said that I'm hosting a Pantera party. And What's I don't that? know who said this. Of a Pantera party is where you, it's like a band that would go and destroy hotel rooms. Oh, when I woke no. up the next day, oh, no. every single door was kicked off its hinges. Oh, no. Um, someone has gone through part of a wall. Sheldon had fallen through the ceiling. Sheldon. And it was, it was, like, it was like a fucking war zone. It That's was like brilliant. a war zone. There may, I might actually have some video of this. I've got a friend who actually has a recording from this. So I might try and see if I can try and get hold of this, but it was real bad. What an it amazing part! Real man. bad. It got so out of hand. I don't know how the fuck it happened, but yeah, I am very lucky that that I didn't get clocked and like legal ramifications because it could be bad. But basically, I was, I was, I was illegally living above this KFC along with these Chinese, Chloe called it Chinese right. couple. We called that. It. Was, I think that's probably the. 
that's probably the reason why there was no legal ramifications because Squatters it rise. was all not legal in the slightest. And yeah, there was like a whole thing there. But fair uh, play, Tom. What yeah. a memory, right. mate. Brilliant. I love that. Wicked. So that's fuck fun. you guys. Yeah, fair play to you, mate. Fair that play. threw you. That's where we are. I'm free, free at the minute. What did you get? You know what's David? handy? Yeah, uh, three, three, three. Chloe has zero. Ah, that's 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 to be decided yet. You know what's funny is like if we have a memory that happened like I don't know twenty, thirty years ago, the easily cop out is I, I just don't remember. Yeah, yeah, it's, it is <laughs> really just, good, isn't it? I don't remember my dad. <laughs> oh, fuck off! You are killing us tonight, Jim. You are killing us tonight. Right, you know what, Chloe. Really do genuinely. I love David to bits. He's amazing. <laughs> I do. I love that. I've got this soft spot for David. I don't know what it is. I just love him. <laughs> I had to help lift up a sedated horse into a trailer. Was that last week? And you put yours down? <laughs> I said that probably. No, hey. Jammer. What? So hard. <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> okay, right. I'll clarify then. <laughs> Was there so... something funny? <laughs> I don't know. ADHD brain. I'm so sorry. Did you not listen last week? I did listen. That's why I just mentioned it. Oh, okay. Because right. <laughs> Luke's e comment was fucking amazing. <laughs> uh, the, the horse is okay, just very quickly. So Q is So it's sedated. Okay. Is it, so she's is it fine. literally called Q? Her full name's Curida. Okay. So we I call th- her Q. A, How many hands was, was this horse? Uh, what, back then or Q nowadays? No, Q back then when it was sedated. What would I want to know about now? This wasn't Q now. No, this was a different horse called Philly. So why are you talking about Q? Because you, you, you made a horrible joke. You made a horrible joke. No, I didn't. And I was stating yeah. Q is that. still alive and well at the moment. We're going to let Allegedly, her I never out. said nothing. Okay. Q the beer is, talking. Q is doing really well the last couple of days and she's doing fine. So Logan's ridden on her. We're going to go and keep her going for the summer. Let so her when she was summer. sedated, how many hands was Okay, Q? so this one. Uh, well, no, this was not Q. This was Philly. So this was a free so cross. Um, How long ago? Probably about 10 years ago, 15 okay. years ago. Well, when you say you helped, I mean, so, so helping, so that, that, this, that word does a time. lot of work in this situation because so helping this, could be you actually picked the horse up. Helping could be, oh, I, I held the, the gate up. open a little bit. No, no, no. So this horse would refuse, refuse to load this trailer. It was a three-year-old and it was a Frisian cross. So it's like one of the Wait, big what? horses. A Frisian is We're going to be saying what? Yeah, there's also a horse. What? Is it Frisian? really? Yes, there's also a horse breed Frisian. Was it a boy or it's, girl? It was a girl called Philly. Called Philly. Philly, yeah. Because no Short one named for her, Phyllis. So she... No, Philly is in like a Philly, like young female horse, Philly. Like a female horse. Yeah. Okay. And why was she sedated? So, so she refused to load and she was going to a new home. So we had to get the vet in and sedate her. But she was so stubborn, we had to, me and this girl called Jodie, we had the, the That's vet. That's a fake name. We had the vet on the front. <laughs> That's the part that you have issue with during this whole story. <laughs> the vet was on the front. Obviously, he'd already done the sedation thing. I think we ended up with like two sedations. And a friend called Michelle at the front as well, trying to pull the horse in. And I had me under one butt and Jodie under the other butt. And we were literally hoisting this pony into this into this trailer like manhandling this horse into a trailer so why yeah, was it physically. stubborn it's bound to be stubborn if it's sedated it's not because it had never got in a trailer before so it, it just refused but, so to was do it. it kind of was it actually a kind of awake it was kind of awake so it could still stand up it was a bit floppy right so it was still awake and it so you're playing move. with a floppy horse right copy that <laughs> and it didn't want to get in the trailer who did you sell huh? the female horse to uh a lady called Charlotte? Where I was think? she based? I can't remember. Was she a far trip or a long trip? She was only about an hour north. away. Like hour North away. Devon, maybe? I can't remember where she was. And how much was she weighing at this time? You, you'd know the weight oh because you're selling God. her, so you should know the weight. About Easy, she like was. a ton or something. She a was not four. light. Well, this is what I was thinking. A horse is like... She it's was heavy, not light. Isn't it? And, how many and at the people? time, I was cycling a lot. I was strong. I was dealing with stallions. I, I was quite strong. You might be strong, but you ain't that strong, Chloe. Let's, let's get it straight. Can I just point out there was me and Jody under the butt. And who's Jody? He-Man? No, this this... <laughs> Some of the girl that worked with me. Uh, what was her body size? What's her frame? She like? was quite small. 
But yeah, this again, is this is, I don't think so. I'm I'm a big guy, and I I think I've got some strength. I don't think I could fucking lift the horse. No, we I didn't couldn't. physically lift it in the air. We like it was sat on our shoulders, and we kind of sat on your shoulders. It was sat on your shoulders. Your shoulders? <laughs> you know what I want? I, I want to hire someone to animate this. <laughs> yes. All right. For fuck's sake. If, if you can send us your shoulders, please send us this. Or if you can at least draw a picture of Chloe with this horse on her shoulders. It's like Bob's Burgers <laughs> animation. <laughs> you put a sh- okay. horse on your shoulders, Chloe. How many people were over there? I'm sorry. Okay, Why there was, was, the was, was it just helping? the two of you? <laughs> huh? The vet was there. Why the fuck was this lab not helping? <laughs> yes, <laughs> we've actually broken Chloe. <laughs> How would Jodie are carrying this horse on the shoulders, mate, like it's a kid at a fairground watching the fireworks? <laughs> you had his front legs on the floor. <laughs> oh, poor Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like a fake story because of the whole. Uh, I feel like it would take a lot more people, to, even if you were standing yeah, exactly. along. Exactly. What to lift a horse onto I mean? your shoulders? <laughs> God, okay, apparently, even lifting. A, well, I don't know. Okay, a ton is what two thousand pounds. Oh my! Yeah. And we're gonna guess. Yeah. yeah even lift. Even even sliding a hundred pounds. <laughs> You know, it, it, it would take too many people. It had legs on the floor. So it had the front legs on the floor and it's like... Even if it had the legs on the floor... You, 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 all right, I want you to go the outside and lift your car the from the back. I want you to lift your car from the back and keep it's the front the wheels same, on the floor. Of course low. it is. This was above you, so it was over the top of you. So you're just lifting up with it. So where it were in. you then? What were you, what, were you downstairs <laughs> and the horse was upstairs? And then you slid it onto your shoulders? No. <laughs> so, no, we just had right. to push... There's either two ways this story is actually going. Either option one, Chloe has lifted a fucking horse on her shoulders. Option two, with Jody. With Jody. With Jody. Option two, she has simply pushed a horse that was already standing onto a trailer. So the horse is sedated, but is it awake? Is it I don't know. Yeah, it's awake, and the fucking thing apparently is standing still sedated. Up. So I was sedated. What's going on? This is lifting. This is pushing a horse. It's like sedated, so it can't rear up and try and try and. Oh, it's high. So it's basically it's high. It's It's relaxed. It's 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 relaxed. Yeah. yeah. So when they fall over, okay, that's it. And land on. Well, yeah. If you don't, if you don't hold it up, yeah, probably. (laughs) How much did you weigh at that time? Okay, okay, now it's sounding a little more believable. I thought that the horse was unconscious. No, the horse is like stone. No, I didn't think you could do that. No, because that would be like lifting dead weight. It's just not. So you and Jody come along, two ladies. I'm not being sexist here, right? But you know, you're quite small ladies, aren't you? Right? Even me, Tom, and David together, (laughs) us four in this room, perhaps even the girls. Six four. No, I'm not. (laughs) I just want to see if I could do six three and a half. All I'm going to say is, everybody in this room now, including the the audience, we will not lift a fucking horse on our shoulders. <laughs> you need oh, a crap. crane or a forklift with a with a, a wrap around it and then lift it and hoist it. All right, this is okay. Bullshit. I think we uh, I think we have enough facts. Uh, I think it's a true do story. we do we have enough facts, David? <laughs> because I don't think there's any facts been told so far. I think this has all been literal horse shit. David's just said it's true that he actually believes that. Her and Jody picked it up. I believe. Shoulders. Okay, is that we're exaggerating her answers? All right, her answers were okay. Basically, the two of them, her and Jody, and uh, what was Jody's last name? McGallagher. McGallagher. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that's a, that's a good answer. I oh, love that. It is brilliant. Isn't it? <laughs> now, okay, so that they're pretty much. My dad was Irish, by the way. Does that oh. help with the horse lifting? <laughs> Maybe she's, she's exactly trying to win David's vote. <laughs> no, actually, what it, what it, what it, okay, this person existed. This, in fact, this person existed. This <laughs> Jodie McGallagher. McGallagher, right? yeah. And uh, so they both had their backs and their shoulders, and they're basically pushing with their legs and trying to, and, and trying to move. Now, was there other people? There was other people, wasn't yeah, there? Yeah, it was Michelle at the front. Okay. And then the vet. Okay. So Michelle, and then there was, other, there was a vet. So four people total. Yeah. And the horses. Kind of, is awake. It's, it's stoned. Right? Yeah, it's, it's stoned, and you're basically okay. Yeah. Well, I see. This is a very is is a very true story. Obviously, you didn't lift it. You were basically just using your your body weight to push it. Up well, uh, the ramp. she did say on her shoulders. So, yeah, but but she was using her shoulders as 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 momentum. You know what I mean? See, I just, I think as, I think as, she's saying this is a true story. But I'm with you, David, on this. This isn't. She's not lifted. She's <laughs> pushed a horse and. 
and let's be honest. So what was this? What was the statement again? Right. What's the actual like the the the, the statement? Yeah, the actual what, like truth I started or lie. with. Yeah. Uh, I said uh, I had to help lift up a sedated horse and load into the trailer. Oh. So she's lifted up. That's so been on the, the ground then. That's on the ground. Lifted up. Oh, is on. All oh, right. I might have exaggerated. Who knows? Right. No, we, so well, this we is true, to know, to know the although truth. it's still false. We need to know it the is, right no, statement. No, it's not. It is kind of true. Yeah. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> well, <laughs> she said, get like, uh... not giving the game away. <laughs> <laughs> she said lifted up off the ground we have to go with that fact there did you actually lift up a horse on your shoulders with Jody? I didn't Jody? say I lift it up off on the ground you did? did you I? said lift it you did you said, said help she lift helped. a horse help yes. lift a horse yeah so lift and push are two different things alright well what, what are you going with? well we're going with what well, your statement was you said lift technically the statement is false although what you're trying to say is true but it is you is didn't it? you pushed a horse so what are you going with? I'm saying that you pushed Do the horse. Do you want to change your no, statement? No, 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 I don't want to change it. <laughs> so you no, lifted no, the horse? No, I... No, you just tell me if it's true or not. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to say true, just so you don't get any fucking points for this. Yeah, now, now, now you've uh, put me in a corner, because you said lift. Well, I'm going to say false then, because I did say true. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> what? You think it's true, David? You think the story's true? I did for a second, but then to hold the whole lifting part... <laughs> She said lifting. Yeah, yeah that was I, her I, statement. That's that's. I'll say bullshit. You didn't lift it, but true that you pushed okay. it. There you go. <laughs> All right, fuck it. My one hundred percent answer is true. Right. So two truths and a bullshit. Okay, well it depends how you take it then. But I would say a truth and a bullshit. One was a truth and a bullshit. So basically, this fair. horse was he- heavily sedated, and it got to a point where we, me and Jody, were so far behind this back end of this horse. The back legs were physically off the ground, and we were hoisting it into this trailer. So effectively, okay, I, it, I can, we were right, kind of I, lifting at the same time as pushing. If it could go either way, I need video footage of you this to believe the, it. <laughs> all right, so it is true. So it's true. So yeah, true. we're going to go with true. Jammer, shut the fuck okay. up. Okay. And I, all right, we so remember how many, after uh, going, how the fuck did we manage that? And it was just in the moment. You so Tom, you it. said false. Correct? No, I said true. I and I said true. Yeah. <laughs> So she only gets okay. one point. And Jammer, what did Jammer say? Bullshit. Oh, okay. So I you, said two so because, to be fair, you she said did bullshit. say lifted it on her shoulders. No, I said, and you can play this, but I said you it's bullshit it. that she lifted it. That she lifted it, but true that she pushed she it. Lift. Help! She helped lift. Help it. lift. Yeah, yeah. Get it, it was right. Was never on the floor, yeah. was it? So why would you use lift? We do, no one says you have to lift. There's no technical Do you lift thing. a bag of sugar? Do you lift off the floor, is it? Right. When you table. want to make your tea. <laughs> you know what I mean? You lift it off the counter. I don't. You it's know what I mean? It's in a little it's thing and I get my spoon. Oh. God, I hate that man so much. I truly hate that man. I truly, <laughs> truly Aww, hate that man. Nasty. David, please, for fuck's sake, get us out of this absolute clusterfuck of... <laughs> <laughs> All right, really I uh, I once forgot my child at the grocery store. Correct. This oh, is true. This is a hundred percent true. true. <laughs> I don't even care this about the rest like of it. Such a this... David thing to do. Yeah. Let's this, be is... <laughs> this might be the most David thing I've ever heard in my entire life. I am so tempted just to kind of say true and not which, get any more facts. Which child and how old? <laughs> oh, that's uh, a good is, question, uh... actually. Huh? Uh, th- no, this was uh, well, is is, is Griffin, and he um. That's such a cool he's the name. twenty. He's a twenty. He's a twenty-four-year-old. No. Right? Wait, wait. Yeah. He's, he's you, like... you are okay leaving a twenty-four-year-old at the grocery store. That is something that's <laughs> legally okay. <laughs> uh, but uh, but he, he was he was like uh, four at the time. <gasps> no, three. No, four. What? And you left Fuck him on him. his own. Well, it's more we <gasps> left him on his own because sharing um, the blame. <laughs> my wife, my wife at the time, um, we both thought the other person had him. <gasps> All right, so we're at the well, in, you... in the gross in the grocery store. There was a there was a little you know uh, thing you put quarters into the bus, or whatever it is. Right. You know the you know the the little machine, the, little, the kids' yeah, machine no. that goes. This is that, that genuinely back and going forth. to make me sad. This one because all I can think about is this poor poor little four year old <laughs> sat on this little machine that eventually stops, and he's just there going. Mom, did you have any uh, kids? At, so other uh, other kids. My maybe. wife. Okay. We're we're paying for shopping. We're paying for our groceries. Right. All right. Uh, my my wife went to go get some coffee, and she was going to meet me at the, at the car or whatever. Yeah. Right. Okay. And uh, uh, both of us thought the other person had the kid. Oh all right? no. What we're, 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 was watching, and he's still inside in the the little bus thing or whatever. Right, <laughs> playing away, and he um, 
I packed the groceries. I left them right there. My my wife at the time, she gets her coffee. She gets into the car. Uh, she presumes the kids in the car. <gasps> <gasps> you know no uh, and uh i presumed that she put the kid in the car wasn't paying attention uh i drove off i looked <laughs> behind me i reached the road and then we went back in and um we ended he was he was still there did you have any other and, kids uh, at this time i did what age what where was the uh, other kid yeah uh, the other kid was actually um fuck i don't know <laughs> He lost that one as well. He's lost that kid. <laughs> no. Hold on. Where was that other kid? We've lost both of them. <laughs> it's false, oh, she, okay. but you lost both. <laughs> uh, he was with he, he was with his dad. What? Come to think of it, I think you are the dad. Wait, you are the dad. No. What? Huh? <laughs> this is my old. Huh? You said he's with his dad. What do you mean? You're the dad. Why would he be with you? So what? Who? When? Where? <laughs> Well, can you hold on a second while I think of something to say? <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh my god! Um, oh shit! No, hold on, I'll think of something. <laughs> can we rewind, please? Can we edit this to where <laughs> you didn't ask that question? <laughs> All right, I can't. I can't think of anything. I can't think of anything. Oh, bullshit for me, then. All right. Aww. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Wait, is, was this bullshit? <laughs> Are we going with it? Bullshit. <laughs> no, I want it's this story to be true. Fucking Jammer's broke it David. <laughs> Actually, it... Chloe broke David. <laughs> and I just didn't know how to fucking... Wait, <laughs> one second. It... It, is this not one of David's double bluffs? Because he has pulled this oh, before. He has. He's pulled this exact same maneuver before. And his before. little smile now going, oh, they're on to me. I still think it's bullshit. He's trying to double bluff me here. Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> double, double, double bluff. I think David's too much of a caring dad. He's stopped working to to raise his kids. He's a great dad. Do you and know I think David? He was... I, I, I speak oh, to David sometimes. Yeah, I think he's a lovely bloke. And yeah. I think he's a proper good dad. I would have been proud to have had a dad like him growing up. Oh, um, that, he's too good of a dad. So Honestly, he's too caring. He's too caring. There's no way in the world because his kids are his life. So I don't believe for a second he would have left his child. And if his wife did turn up, I think there may be some truth that the kid was actually in there and before, when they got in the car, they're like, oh, quick, go back. I believe that might be a bit true because that can happen. But I, I think he's I, exaggerating I, I that still, thing that he's drove I still off. think this is completely possible for David. Yeah, it is very possible. No, he's too loving. Not a chance. He, he, right. he cares. What else? What do you guys got? I want to say bullshit. Okay. I'm going to wing it. I'm going true. Because I believe it could be bullshit, but I genuinely think this is something that could happen. God, God. God damn, this is such a hard one. Like, I genuinely, there's, this is this is one of these. There's occasionally you've got it where, like, you, a lot of the time you're like, yeah, you, you, your gut's pretty much in the right place, and you can get it wrong. But this is literally a toss up. This this could be either way for me. Um. Well, that's the idea. I'm going to go true. true. False. And I'm going to go true for the simple reason that I want this to be true. Because I like this story. <laughs> it makes me genuinely like, there's something about it that I kind of like. It's a very David story. It ends happily. There's no issues. Actually, actually, speaking of which, so he was just still sat by himself on the machine. You already gave your answer. <laughs> oh, shit. It's bullshit. It's bullshit, isn't it? It's true. bullshit. Oh, no. <sighs> Honestly. <sighs> No, it caught me off guard. I completely like, wait a second. What's the, did I already say he was the oldest? Oh, wait. oh no. Uh, it's, yeah, it's completely false. No. Um, oh, you it was just so basically well, every, it's a, but it's a fear. It's one of my biggest yeah, yeah, fears. Yeah. And it, but it can easily happen. I find that I'm much a better, safer dad when it's just me watching the kids. But when my wife's here, I just presume she's watching and she, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think it happens all the time. Yeah. You know? It's easily done. And uh, it's just a, uh, Poor yeah. little ones. Um, Does that kind of put me in the front then? Am I winning now? Oh no, I'm winning. I just got three there, didn't I? Wait, I got two. I got I I, I bullshitted two. I got five. You got three, and uh, this is your chance to get into the lead if if we all decide to vote the same. And uh, yeah, Gemma. Right, my mother got quite upset right. one time, so we moved where we are now. 
um, after me dad. And for sports day, I was running. And uh, my mum took offence to the, uh, the sticker that was on my chest and it said jam. My mum took offence because of the jam jar. If you remember Gollywogs and my mum kicked off and went down to school and, and kicked off at the head teacher and made me feel really embarrassed. Because it was just shorthand for jammer, but yeah. she's associated jam with, with Gollywog. Gollywog. Yeah. What's Gollywog? Oh, it's a toy. What is Gollywog? Very racist Holy toy. shit. <laughs> no, it's not yeah. racist. Well, everyone says it's racist. No, I had it Gollywog. It definitely is racist. No, it's I don't understand it. Racist, I it? had Gollywogs as a kid, thing. and I loved my Gollywogs when I was a kid. Yeah, but it's still got... It's all racist. Things can be, like... You can love something and still yeah, have it, like... They... Is it a what, is it a character? Right. Or it was what a is character it? based just, on the cold doll, wasn't Gollywog. it? Working government, working for the government. Gollywog, like Gollywog a thing. I thought. Uh, well, I just no, it, like the it's character. not. It's not a cool thing. <laughs> oh wow! I used to collect it from it, the Robinsons jam jar as a kid, a little token, and you get the, the merchandise. I love Gollywogs. I don't know what people's <laughs> when, when I when I type in how did Gollywog start the Gollywog was created during a racist era. It was drawn <laughs> as a characteristic of a minstrel, which in which well, itself I didn't represented see it like that. a demeaning image of blacks. There there is a race race racial stereotype of black people from Florence Upton's books, including the Adventures of Two Touch Dolls. Blah, blah, blah. Basically, yeah, it's minstrels. It's that's that same thing of but like minstrels um, are chocolate, like, aren't they? Minstrels are good. But, but minstrels were basically, because obviously black people weren't allowed to be on stage. So they'd get a white person, just literally just draw, and then do the black like face. just plain, yeah. paint black and then have like big red lipstick for the lips. And yeah. that was a minstrel. So does that make me really like bad then? Because I actually love those Gollywog teddy bears. I don't think he's. I don't think no, it, it makes it bad. I think I was it's, only it's a kid things. though at the time. I didn't understand I th- the political, can, religious side of it or whatever. The I think you can have a good it. memory of a bad thing. Yeah, it's never bad for me. It helped me sleep I mean, at night. We, we have gone so very far <laughs> off the actual. I have a few questions. Yes. First of all, a statement. If this is correct, your mom was the original Karen. Yeah. Because right? she's making a huge deal out of something that was obviously a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> obviously yeah. a mistake. I'm, yeah, so, I'm so sorry. glad that you were the one well, to David, answer David looks at the golly ones and be like, that's really cute. I like that. Yeah. I was so, I'm so glad that David <laughs> answered it, though, because it was my mother. My mother, obviously, is from Belfast Catholic. So, yeah. So, I love that. Oh, an Irish mum. Um, okay, so, potential, like, she could have, like, bombed the Potential Karen. That's racist in itself there, Tom. <laughs> oh, Tom. Low blow, low blow. Um, I love the Irish. How old were you, first of all? Wait, oh, bloody. Do, do you have school. Irish blood? 1903. Do I have Irish blood? No, I've got yeah. Welsh. Okay, no, she looks Welsh. Count. No, I was going to say, because uh, all like the... I love Welsh, yeah, by Welsh. the way. Uh, no, you do. You look Welsh. You look soft. You look like you can sing very well. You've got that dragon hair. You're I drinking can. dragon soup. You know, you're just... That's true, actually. You're just a Welsh. Just a Welsh. All right, back to questions. Back to questions. I'm sorry. All right. You said it was this was in the '93. How old were you? Uh, but I don't want to do. I want. I don't want to do the math. I just want to know how old, old you were. I was. I was nine years old. You were nine years old. You were at sports, sports day. day. What events were you playing in? Well, I was a sprinter. Very good runner. Hundred meters. I can do in just over nine seconds. I'm really and quick. Why okay, did no, that's they... false. First of all, that's false. Why did they? Uh, why did they just call you Jam and false. not Jammer? They call what me Jamma. Yeah, J- so, J- so Jamma is actually a new name for me because um, did you ever watch Ride Along? No. With Kevin Hart uh, and no. Ice Cube. <laughs> no. no. Okay. Right. That, that so that, that, that's 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 knackered you there, isn't it? <laughs> There's a game attack. So, Jamma with the big black hammer. It... You get me now. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. That's, that's where right. Jamma comes from. Now, Chloe, go yes. ahead. What? Go ahead. You were going to say something. I'm sorry. Well, I just was trying to figure out why they called you Jam. Yeah, that that's that. Now, now that I know yeah. this, now that's not this... your name. Yeah. So my name's so, so Jermaine. Mine is Jermaine is your name. It's true. It's it's Jer. Jer. Yeah, but that's that's but Jer. Jermaine. J e r m. Germ. Germ. It's a Germanic that's name. Jam. It's better than. Let's no, let's face a, it. Rather than being name. racist, that's better than Jam. So I was named after Michael <laughs> Jackson's brother. I wanted to be called Michael. Yeah, this is true fact. Yeah, yeah, my dad went to take right, me down. No, 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 no. He, he is avoiding, fact. he is avoiding the shit out of this question. I'll blow he your mind away. not want to answer My it. name doesn't start why? with a J on my birth why certificate. Why does it say, why did this, why did it say jam? 
Yeah. I'm, I'm giving you some really good information here. No, no, you're no, not. No, no, you're no, not. no, no. Answer not. the actual you're question. You're giving us, you're telling us what you want to tell no, us. No, no, no. Because we thought, not answering the question. when your name was Jammer, that made sense. That was like, yes. oh, yeah, we're short for Jammer. But Jammer. now that we know that's but not the case. now it's not, yeah, Something why that you you've jam? given away, yeah. that's, that's not, why did it say Jam? So, but I just want to say, for a side note on here, my dad actually can't spell very well, so he took me down to the so registry office. he called you office. Jam? We don't and, no, he called me Jermaine, words. spelt like Jermaine Garia. My actual real name starts with a G. But then that right. would be Jar, would, not No, it's still jam. Jermaine. It's still yeah. Jermaine, like Jermaine Garia. Yeah, but even if he spelled it wrong, that would be Jar, not Jam. No, it's Jam. jam. It's Jam. It wouldn't be Jam, would it? Why is it called Jam? No oh, idea, mate. It was... Jam. So oh, they what? randomly put the word jam onto a name badge. I mean, in fairness, I see why you, your mum's got an issue with this now. Well, no, because so, I, so, I told him I'm jam. That's me, jam. Call me jam. No, you didn't. Not at that <laughs> age, you didn't. There's <laughs> no I reason. I love jam on toast. And at that age, too, you couldn't have done the 100 metre yeah. dash in under. Uh, uh, you can't do the top stop. <laughs> Mate, <laughs> when you're black, you have you let you get taught to run quick. You can't trust use me. that one. No, <laughs> there, there is so many whiffs of bullshit on this story. There's 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 yep. bullshit everywhere on on every part of it. I it, it, it's it's it, like it could be a true story, except that he's giving false answers. No, but yeah, that's not how the game you know works. I mean? You can't do that shit. Yeah, but I don't see why they'd put jam on there. They'd either put your yeah, name or no they'd put your initials put or your surname or something. Yeah. They wouldn't go, oh, let's just call him Jam, because that's hilarious. That's jam, not how it yeah. works. Yeah, Jam. <laughs> he, he just keeps saying, yeah, Jam. Yeah, Jam. <laughs> he hasn't answered anything. He has not answered the question. Tell- he yeah. just keeps saying, yeah, Jam. Jam, yeah. Yeah, Jam, Jam, mate. Yeah, Jam. Yeah. Was that the, David, only, David, was that the jam. only event? Jam, David. Jam. Yeah, Jam. <laughs> that's it. Jam. I actually had a mate, that the I only had a mate called Jermaine David, but he, um, he, he's not here. But that's not why you're called Jam. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't explain the jam. What other events did you participate uh, in? Running and javelin. I'm really good at javelin. javelin. Yeah, I've got big shoulders. There's, they don't do they don't do javelins at sports. They did. It weren't with a javelin pole. It was <laughs> yes, with a no, 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 no. They did a fucking javelin. No, but it weren't a javelin. It was like a. It was like. A, a... It was a no, stick co- no, it was them bags, the corded bags with the like the rice in it, and you. That's f- not a javelin. <laughs> it was for a kid. For a kid. <laughs> For a kid, it's jumping. That's a beanbag, you fucking. That's what bean I meant. Bag. Beanbag with my plimp soles. I did running and I did javelin with a beanbag. Blah. I fucking hate them plimp soles. Remember that? The plimp soles are wicked, bro. I still wear them. They now. would not. Oh, yeah. I fucking hated them. They never <laughs> fit me. Bro. Right. I'm calling bullshit on this. I'm just so categorically bullshit. calling bullshit on this. Okay. Here, okay. Here's my dilemma. If I call bullshit too, and he it is real. Oh no. He wins. <laughs> It's not. There's no reason. There's so you're categorically going diplomatic, no. Jam. Why would someone? It, it doesn't honest, make it. Just jam. It he just keeps saying be. jam. It might. It might be though. He doesn't know why he was called jam. All right. So okay. I've like, got jam. Okay. Jam, mate. If he, if, yeah, if, jam, if this jam, is, yeah, if jam, it, jam, yeah, jam. I don't know why. If it is true, jam. he deserves to win it, and not out of me jam. being uh, calculating. So I will go ahead and say that it is false. Yeah, it's well. got to be bullshit. There's no way. All right. First time ever on this podcast, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to ring my mother right now, live. No, you are not. No fucking way. Let's do this. One that second, means it's people. Real. That means it's fucking real, doesn't it? <laughs> that depends if she remembers it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she could quite yeah, she's easily. She's going to be like, what the hell are you on about, Jammer? <laughs> you better answer. But she can't hear us. Oh, well, he's the one going to talk only. That is. He just wants to confirm it, doesn't he? Hello. You're right, ma'am. It's Jermaine. You're all right. Hello. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm just Hello. live on a podcast right now, and uh, we're playing True or Lie, and uh, the guys don't believe me. I'm telling the truth here. When we was in uh, school, primary school, and the PE teacher called me Jam. You got really angry because they thought I was a. You thought it, they was calling me a gollywog. Is that true? Yeah. Boom! <laughs> why did it. Right, ask her. Ask her, why did it say jam? Why did it say jam, mum? That gollywog on the jam jar. <laughs> what, genuinely? Because of that? Is, that, is that the reason why they wrote jam? Right. No, so we're on a podcast. We're doing this game, Truth or Lie. And I've told them about my soldering iron accident as well. Was that true, mum? Yes. 
Ask her how old he was. So, right, there's David here. He's an Irish bloke like you. Obviously, yeah. well, you, you know, your dad. Isn't bloke, what are you saying? Saying? So we're on a podcast at the minute. We're with some friends and I've called you live right now on a yeah. podcast because we're playing True Four Lies and I'm trying to win this game. And they, they, they basically said I was I was lying about the jam and uh, basically it's the, the, the soldering iron. So I've called you, Mum, to uh, clarify things. Yes, that is you could have just said it was true, of course. The paint, because you thought it was ice cream. <laughs> 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 yeah, I drank paint because I thought it was ice cream, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a uh, good Mom, one. Mum, what was my dad like? Because they, they don't believe me with this, neither. No, we don't want to know about that. We want to know the fun stuff. <laughs> they want to know um, the fun stuff. <laughs> your stepdad's just called him an arsehole. Oh, has he? What's that done? This is real live now, son. What 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 was me what was my dad like, man? We're, we're literally just listening to well, family drama now. Plan it first. <laughs> then he had you. Then he then he kidnapped you, and now went back to Leicester. So I went back, and they had three more children with them. Then he started being a bit violent towards you. It's in news. Then he started it to me when I was pregnant, hanging me about the ankles over the stair banister. I'm treading this. It was awful. just violent, There you go, guys. That's the oh. real shit. All right. <laughs> right, Mum, right, love you, you so much. much. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> <laughs> love you, bye. Take care, love you. Love you, bye. If that's the way to win a fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a bit cheated here. A okay, little bit. I have. I feel okay. <laughs> Did you lie during your answers? Not a chance, mate. No. So, do we, when you said javelin, you just got it mixed up? No, because it was javelin. As a kid, it was the yeah, bean yeah, bags. It's, it's, it was it's, javelin. It's, it's, I know, I know what he's saying. Yeah. You have to basically do, do, do it's, they it's make the it same sound idea more as it. Yeah. It's yeah. not. You're throwing a bean bag. <laughs> this oh, week, Java calls okay. his mum. All right, <laughs> and you're was okay. It different yeah, colours. Just called his mom. There were different colours. There were different ones. coloured bean bags there as well was. for different yeah. weights or something. I remember that being. I don't know that about was the weight. Almost, but you, you almost you weren't that fast though. You almost set yourself not a up as like I'm going to call my mum on you. And just so truth prove is, it. I actually ran for my county. <laughs> yeah, I was actually really quick. I could have gone. I could have. Uh, but you weren't a 10 second hundred dash. That bit was bullshit. At 15, I was. Okay, well, so you can't be lying about that. <laughs> if, you're, if, if it's an actual truth, you got to say the yeah, actual truth. Yeah, but I'm lying. Answers. I think I'm way. fast as fuck, mate. Tip me to it. All right. So I just don't feel like he should get all the points. Oh, oh come on, Dave. Yeah. I've brought my because mum into he, this. I was fixated on the speed. You were you basically were bullshitting. Because that, yeah. yeah. My you know, because, no, I wasn't fixated. David was. Da- yeah, David I was. I was fixated on jam. You lot heard that jam. Was, Jam. I know you jam. Yeah, jam. Yeah, jam. Yeah, 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 jam, yeah, jam. Jam, jam, jam. I brought my mum into this. We I've got to win it this week, please. We did forget. Come on. We did forget to um, keep scores. Uh, focus on the fact that that the lie, well, sorry, the the story was that like, did his mom freak out about this? As like, we got, we kind of forgot about about that. You know what I mean? As like, did she really? You know what I mean? As she like, did, uh, yeah. we we could, we could have asked some more <laughs> questions about that. But, uh, that is really bad, though, that the school put jam as a gollywog reference. That's that is wild. Bad. That yeah. is wild. Yeah, my mum kind of kicked off. Yeah, I left that school. Well, did they admit to doing it? So. Yeah, yeah, did the teacher admit? got sat. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 teacher, no. Well, put it this way. I don't know so much because I was a kid, but I do not remember seeing that teacher after that sports day. <laughs> so, wow. Summit definitely went oh. on. He definitely, yeah, Summit went on. Wow. Right, I just right. think, you know Let's what? I brought my mum to the table this week, guys, to speak. Yeah, well, she couldn't hear you guys, but you know what? That means a lot. Come I on love then, David. you. <laughs> tell, tell us who won. Well, Jammer yeah, won. Jammer won. Yeah, I feel well like I, I, feel, I feel cheated <laughs> this week. I'll level with you. A little guys. cheated, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. And on that note, <laughs> thank you so much for listening. <laughs> if you haven't listened, how did you get this far? But we shall all see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Fuck me. Thank you so much for listening. Our podcast manager and editor is David. Thank you very much, David. You're You're very welcome. welcome. man. We we appreciate you. We we do. Hosts to myself, Chloe, David, and Jammer this week. Jam, 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 jam. Support us. Jam. 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 Yeah? Jam. 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 Yeah. 
If you'd like to support us and our podcast, why not join our Patreon like our amazing mega supporters, such as Arthur Job, Ginger Mother Trucker, I'm Having an Orgasm, oh. Jack Goodwin. <laughs> Thank you for that. John Brown, Justin Reaney, Master Bates. Fuck me, these names. Fuck you guys. Me Hall, Phil Starkey, SMID, Stephen Patterson, Timo, Trucker Soud, and Trucker Colin. You guys are all amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to all of you. Um, but especially our mega supporters, because you give us more money. So we have to be more thankful of you. Um, yeah, our, our, right. our, love is, our love is purely financial. It really no, is. for the cheapskates. We can't buy more jam jars. Oh, yeah. Well, so the cheapskates, the people who give us... <laughs> no, Jenny, we, we, all of you are amazing. But we've also got Big Mike, Gavin Williams, Neil Reese, Trucker, Go, Trucker Joe, and Danny Flynn, the wanker. Um, you seem to love me calling you that each week. So there you go. That's uh, you see a little extra shout out there. Um, these guys get amazing perks, such as extra content, access to the Discord, live viewings, where you can come on. Um, so that uh, during this podcast, we've got people coming in and like chatting away in the in the side side bit. Fuck me, I'm not very good at <laughs> the this. Chat. Shit, in the chat, that's the word I was looking for. Really obvious. <laughs> Couldn't fucking figure that one out. Uh, you can also support us in other ways. So you can go to Samuslap.com, get some Actually, Samuslap.com is a little. Uh... I can't figure that out. So if you go to samuslap.com, because you're not going to find anything there. because the Right, okay, but you can give us money. Just give us money. And how dare you <laughs> stop. We'll, we'll get merch, uh, merch grow working. And you can follow us on social media like YouTube, Instagram. Just search Just Another Trucking Podcast. And yeah, jam. Yeah? Jam, jam, jam. jam, jam. jam. And let's jam. shout yeah. out to Phil, because he wasn't shouted out, Tom. Was he not? Oh, mate, Phil. He says he wasn't. Span off Phil. Wait, if, if, if I didn't mention Phil, which I'm Phil pretty sure I did. You don't, you Phil, Phil, you yeah. absolutely lovely, lovely man. We love you, Phil. We love Phil. Phil me cracking. Great lad. He loves his jam as well. <laughs> this intro's gone on too long. Stop. <laughs> <laughs>